the enemy, the past, and threatens the fastest weapon. You wouldn't make it past a second, and that's the question. Play it brash and reckless, or choose a cautious solution you thought was prudent. In any sepulchre, poker to do become the putrid. It's that wealth that I'm pursuing. No mountain too steep, but dungeon too deep to send expendable marks up to the top of the peak of beneath. They see you bleed, they come like sharks to it. While I swim in that money bin like Carl Barks drew it. So send your national parks, drew it. I'll send them home in a natural box with a closed top and most of the parts included. <sighs> Save your breath for a cleric confessor. Death is a lesson and life is a tenured professor. But if you're seeking my official advice, sign on the dotted line and initial it twice. Hello. I, I am Tycho Brahe of Penny Arcade and Pax. I'm also Ominifest Hereward Drawn, CEO of Acquisitions Incorporated. But today I am Jerry Holkins and I'm running a game of Dungeons and Dragons for my friends, a truncated set to be sure, um, but all friends. Uh, and obviously, one love, Kate. Uh, hopefully, you're washing along with us, savoring. Uh, we're going to do our best for you. Um, to my right, Ryan Hartman. Who? The what? <laughs> just, just, well, you know, oh, this is a messing it up already. Wow. Well, best that? foot forward, huh? Shit. Uh, you don't usually right. get mine wrong. I, I got it. To my right, rep, no. Uh, uh, which one are you? Dragonborn hey, Narcissist, <laughs> Dinar Blitzen. Hey, hey we got there. Hey, uh, to the right of my right. Buckle repping, in, everyone. Repping the natural world, Walnut Dawn Grass. It me. It hurt. Thank you. That um, good. Obviously, PR under these, under, obviously under these scenarios, typically speaking, um, Kate, aka Grandmother Knight. AKA Rosie B. Stinger Correct. would manhandle a, an illusory serpent. I, I um, do it in her stead, but you know what? I just I treat it with respect <laughs> and I just put it back. Well, you, you, put, you, you, put, you put it back on its serpent stand. Right. <laughs> you know, you, you, you spent extra. Um, uh, to the left of my left, emerging as though from a mist shroud, Cuthris Drow. Oh, okay. What? Yeah. <laughs> hey, yep. did you did you see that animated GIF? Thank you. What um, that? It's from Inuyasha. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, where, oh, thanks. Where, where, where you're, <laughs> now I get it. Where you're, where it's like all the times you go like it was this. That coffee robot from the oh, Shadow man. Council. Yeah. yeah, it was just all of those together. It is. It is so exquisite. It, like I was hypnotized and I was drawn in to a realm, you know, comprised entirely of Chris Stroud. It's getting my shroud. No, it was a real treat. Yeah. Um, hey, when last we saw our heroes, there was sort of a, a duality present. But let me catch you up uh, if you were not with us last time. Now, uh, the C team broke into activity groups, um, right? Basically, mm -hmm. uh, one group, that is to say one buddy cop movie, was operating on this axis. Uh, Dinar Blitzen and uh, Kathris Draub two had gone three. to the local. Yeah, it, 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 fuck two men, three men. There were three because uh, yeah. because he wanted to bring You're quiver. Right. We got the mayor. Oh my goodness! Exactly. So uh, they went to the local town of Frimp. Uh, Frimp is a town that is known for its oh. gems. Uh, <laughs> the fantasy, of course, was that they would be able to uh, establish a trade, perhaps get some kind of a support. Maybe trade for some additional weaponry. Maybe even someone to come back with them. And fried mm. shrimp. And fried shrimp. Um, it's all fried. Everything there is breaded. It doesn't even matter. what. Even the breading. Sounds like a good... So it's like Wisconsin. Yeah, it's the same. Right. It's the same. But... Nice. Uh, Got him. Take we, that, Wisconsin. <laughs> <laughs> we should... Uh, one nothing! No, no, listen. That's... Honestly, we have the stats. Like, Wisconsin is the most dense home of C-Team fandom there is. Oh, yeah. No. Oh, and you're man. fucking, you're creating problems for me, is what I'm, is what I'm saying. So it comes from a place of love. <laughs> <laughs> See if it. that works for you. Um, yeah. So, um, but it was during this time that uh, the mayor of the town, Quiver, uh, maybe his name came from the cool thing you keep your arrows in, oh. or maybe it come, you know, maybe it comes from the fact that he is sort of a vibrating, perpetually vibrating coward. That might be it. Also, in either case. Uh, Dinar forced him to go on this trip, um, and when they arrived at the town of Frimp, it was mostly on fire. There was a lot of fire. It, you didn't see the whole thing. It's possible that some part of it was not burning, but 
you would have had to look. Whoever it was probably. You, you, <laughs> oh no, that got the worst. No, no, exactly. No, it's just a dry bed. Um, uh, it was at this time my my cauldron flipped. It was an absolute treat for me. Um, I was able to put Krenar inside one of the saddlebags of Kathris Draub. So that is a new situation. The last thing that occurred there was they heard what the, what sounded like uh, a cry for help from a young person. Now. Back at the ranch, simultaneously, as soon as it became clear uh, that Quiver had not been a helpful person and was in fact quite bad at knowing how to get around a place that ostensibly he's quite familiar with, uh, they indicated via mind bullets Mm -hmm. um, to the home team, which is to say Rosie B. Stinger and I was going to say your true name. Not my true name. No, again, you're having true your best enough. day, are you? No, no, it's crazy. Uh, uh, Walnut and Rosie uh, broke into Quiver's hut, found what seemed to be pretty robust evidence um, that he was passing messages back to Merrick Sharp, um, the leader of the reclamation group, a kind of bandit consortium that operates in the uh, Sumber Hills. Uh, that is where we left our heroes. The very last thing was that you had an opportunity to talk to a cool bird Mm -hmm. um, and you wanted him to take your message back right away. Um, And let's see, I I think I actually have the message that you wrote down uh, for these people. Yeah, but he wouldn't take it right away. No, he wouldn't take it it right away because he's a bird. It says MS dash, Mm -hmm. very dangerous reinforcements have arrived. Your men will never survive. Await further instructions. Q. Um, but this bird was not into taking it back right away. It just got home. Just got some seeds. That's true. Uh, but in the AM, uh, it has given you its bird word to whatever extent that, is ha- the word. that has value uh, that it's going to carry this missive for you. I believe it. All right. Be honest, Bill. Beak. <laughs> <laughs> well, the description that that Ryan had was that it was actually in some kind of s and gear. And that's an enduring oh, yeah. image. I have to say, I, I don't know, I don't know if it's horror or pleasure. Like I don't know how to feel about the image. I don't know if the mask has a place for the beak or if it's designed in such a way as to incorporate the beak. Or to enhance the beak. The beak, really? there's a hole for the beak, but then there's a gag in the beak's <laughs> mouth. There's something for everyone. So it's a range. No one, I would argue. Look, it's a range of experiences. That's the key. Yeah. Now, so the rich, rich tapestry of life. Indeed. So, where do we want to start uh, our adventure? Who wants to, who wants to engage with this rich narrative? Uh, so, so you've, you've, that that bird's gone to bed. We're done till morning. And I you're, think. It maybe you're still sifting those papers or something. Mm-hmm. As far as us, yeah, we hear that cry from the burning town of Frimp. Uh, is, it, is it echoing all around? Uh, you hear, we... it, it seems to be very particular. What, uh, so we're watching from the it's edge not, of the woods. Not, yeah, it's not whales. Yeah, we hear a whimper. Um, I don't think we should get close. I think we should send a scout. I think we should do one of your... Krenar. Yeah, <laughs> let's just send, send Krenar out. You know, <laughs> and hope for the best. She's got to grow up sometime. Yeah, how are we doing? This is Dragon Dragonborn, Dragonborn tonight, towns. This is what you do. Yeah, <laughs> come on. You had a cool overhand birthday. throw. Let me do this. Do this for me. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I think we should send one of your your menagerie as a scout. That makes sense. Um, now, which I think I could, I can afford to send out uh, Ligati. Yeah, which one can you part with? You've got so many. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, I have roll uh, the dice. Yeah. Well, hold on a second. The problem is that. Uh, I don't know that Velvet would be able to be of much use. Certainly couldn't carry an injured person out. Mm. Isn't Velvet busy back at camp making... Many Velvets oh, are, yeah. yeah. Um, but okay. I don't think Velvet's the right... Well... The right person. play. But you have options. But there's at least just to discern what the scenario is. Well, this could be a trap of some sort true. as well. It could be bandits still, you know, lingering about if the place is on fire. Mm. But Leg- Legati, though, I could send away. Because I, I am mildly, I'm gently sighted uh, somehow. I got enough point. eyes for both of us. Yeah. 
<laughs> Just get rid of all of them. Yeah. Get rid of the rest. Uh, yeah. So um, I, I, I uh, relieve Ligotti of his staff form and, and he coils around my, my forearm. The fist? Yeah. He coils <laughs> just thick bands like <laughs> yeah, a solenoid. Yeah, exactly. No, it's, it's, like, it's like the uh, fruit by the foot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's, it's for you, not them. Yeah. Uh, and I, I say, Ligotti, there's someone in trouble. Don't eat them. Go find where they are, who they are, and their condition. I'm just going to switch site with him. What's, yeah. the, what's the range on that? Would I be able to comfortably do it from the distance we are from the From family? here, yeah. Because he is unique to you and your, you know, you have some kind of an affliction that has overtaken at least one of your eyes. Mm-hmm. Um, the bond between you and Magadi is pretty substantial by this point. Okay, so I release him. Okay. I take, I, I take possession of his senses and I, and I guide him. You just him. drive him? Yeah, I guide him through those, down that path. Okay, but you can see um, as you are, it's like a drone, I guess, in a certain respect. Yeah, you can see as you're passing through, um, the frimp is clearly a bit farther along. Like if, they, if this if this was some kind of a like a, a game, they would be a level two or three village. Um, so there's there's more individual housing, less communal housing. Mm-hmm. Um, and as it as it passes through, like whatever whatever force came through here, um, acted with great swiftness. There's a lot of swords still in scabbards. Mm. Um, it was clearly a very, very fast um, approach. But uh, Ligotti can, um, can absolutely perceive uh, the origin of this, uh, of this cry. Ooh, yeah, what are we looking at? Is it in a, hiding in a house? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, it's, it's in a house um, where the roof has partially caught on fire. And uh, as Lagati sort of crosses the threshold there, um, there is clearly a young person um, crying beneath what appears to be um, a set of, of timbers or a hastily constructed um, defensive structure. Oh, I see. How, how young is this person? You're, you'd probably guess. I mean, you're... How old are you now? Oh, who, Kathris or Kithris. me? Kathris. <laughs> uh, it's like three hundred. Almost. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. This this was this would have been a long time ago. Um, human children don't stay looking this way for very long. Right, right. Um, but it's down there in that range that I suspect Kathris Drab would identify as from five to twenty. <laughs> There's down a, there there's a newborn the soft <laughs> the soft area of human development um shoot okay i'm gonna relay that back to you that there's a there's a there's a very tall newborn uh trapped behind some kind of a of a barricade how do, how do you relay that to me do I say it to you? I say so it. is Ligotti moving, but you're still standing there next to me? Yeah, I'm still, standing next okay. to you. Yeah, I can, I I can, still, I can still look at what he's seeing okay. and just talk to you with You don't know why. He just said, because the, the fact I'm that like, I, I don't asked, know, I'm just curious. No, no, sometimes he just does weird shit. Yeah. Like, that has been the, that has been the case right. from the outset. Yeah. Kuthris, what are you doing? Oh, sorry, I got distracted. <laughs> like, none of this has anything to do yeah. with what we're doing. <laughs> um, let me send, uh, I'm going to send, <laughs> I know I need to, to comfort this this injured person, but maybe the sight of this snake, the, just like this massive yeah. snake with a knife for a tail, you're thinking that and maybe that's face. not the. <laughs> you're thinking, yeah, yeah, exactly. With a mouth that is full of more knives, you're saying that maybe this is not the right demographic. Okay, I'm gonna take care to keep Ligotti out of sight, and uh, I'll I'll have uh, Ligotti say, uh, "Hold on." <laughs> Help's on the way. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna take real good care of you. Uh, <laughs> it's just but the face, just completely impassive. No, <laughs> no expression that could even possibly oh, be no. parsed. It's just, it's just the two sets of teeth. <laughs> oh, <laughs> God. Like a just like slightly scraping against each other. Yeah, um, it's like the hair clip. Yeah, oh. uh, I'm gonna have. A, uh, I'll say like a. Um, uh, what's your name? 
uh, just it's like, it's like, who is it? Who's there? We're here to help. <coughs> uh, I brought some friends of mine. <laughs> it's, you, we have to go down there, Dinar. <laughs> I don't think Ligati can, can free this person. <laughs> is that the case? Yeah, well, yeah. You, while you, I, while can, you can do whatever you want. While while Legati's looking, like I want to assess the the state of the person and the barricade. Like, is is are they trapped? Are yeah, they injured? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They they stay. They appear to be, um, they they're on their chest, mm -hmm. um, flat against the ground, mm. uh, in this structure. That, like I say, it's either like hastily erected to as a defensive means or. As a place to hide, like a little fort. Gosh, so they're not pinned. But they're there of their own volition. It's it's possible. Oh. Well, if they, if they chose it, I guess I'll just yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. How do I know? I mean, it's your bed lying in. I'm yeah, trespassing. Exactly. Tell the kid that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you brought this on yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> and then before uh, Ligotti leaves, reveals its face and then exits. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the last thing you see before you die. <laughs> No. Uh, so if this person is trapped, um... she's reaching her hand out, just like out in front of her. Um, Dinar, do you think? Yo. Can you get Krenar and Quiver back to town? Probably. Or do you want to wait for me here? Here's here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna I'm gonna um, mask of many faces. Oh. I'm gonna look like uh, uh, whatever Merrick Sharp was wearing. I'll keep my face covered. That's the only that's the bandit I know. Yeah, yeah. That I was familiar with, but I don't know if this victim will be afraid of him. I would think likely. But I want to look like a <laughs> bandit in case yeah. a bandit sees what I'm doing. That's true. You can misty step down there, right? Can't you body swap with Legati? Can't you well, misty step into his? That's true. I'd forgotten all about that, and I still have Misty Step. You can, don't I? You can teleport down there. I mean, then getting out is the next. Eh, we'll figure that out afterwards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so this is what I will do. I will tell me more. I'm going to Misty Step down, take Legati's place, not in uh, disguise. Yeah, I'll go as myself. You go as Kathrist Drought. Less frightening. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's a mistake. We'll find out. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll do that, and then I will attempt to. Like ascertain Free if I can child. get her out of there, or them out of there. Sounds great. And then while you're down there, if there's any trouble, I will immediately run away. <laughs> I'll leave you to your death. Far, yeah. And then just, I'm gonna ride like away. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna ride away in my magic elk. Um, yeah. <laughs> I got a big elk. We're already on. I got a big elk. Now. A lot of swords. <laughs> and I'll just leave. I'm gonna dump this guy in the river. <laughs> yeah. My daughter. I'm not coming back to the forest. Oh yeah. I'm not going back to the town. Okay, I uh, let's let's do it. I will misty step into that slightly on fire yeah. house. <laughs> exactly, and it's, it is absolutely progressing along the thatched roof. Mm -hmm. um, uh, at your appearance, um, uh, her eyes grow wide, um, and then you can see you can see that she is trying to move out from underneath of it, um, but you can see her brow knit with pain. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry about how I look, but nice. I'm, I'm here to help. <laughs> Let's see what I can, what can I do? What can I solve? Um, yeah, do I think that I would be able to, is this beam small enough that I could lift it? Or would I be able to... Um, it's pretty hastily, yeah, this stuff is pretty hastily assembled, you think. Oh, okay, then let me go and, and try and uh, just start pulling it apart. How strong is Kithris? He's not strong. Do you have like Mage Hand or something? I do have Mage Hand, but that's not super strong either. But it's you turn Legati back stronger than Kithris. Mage Hand can lift yeah, 10 yeah. pounds. <laughs> yeah, turn Legati into a crowbar. Yeah, I was saying, turn Legati into some sort of uh, oh, that's le true. leverage tool, right? That's true. Yeah, let me do that. And with the child as a fulcrum, I will move her. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is physics, little one. <laughs> uh oh. It's pressure. It's a lesson. Yeah. Um, yeah, let me, okay, re let's return Ligati to staff form and see okay. if I can get a get a wedge in and, and pry this off of. The, the, exactly. 
there is a uh at first there is a shriek um uh as you're beginning to shift the weight of this beam Mm -hmm. um but then she is able to uh pull herself out like elbow over elbow um but she tries to she tries to get completely up onto her feet and she's not able to let me let me see what's going on where's that where's that injury where are you hurt yeah it's the left ankle it seems like what would, she's trying to put pressure on that okay no 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 let's she's not she's that. not in a position to explain it you don't think no 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 let's not do that i will uh uh pick her up um uh there might still be I explained her there i have i have friends at the top of the hill um but there might be uh bandits about and she's like there were there were so many bandits when how long ago were they here so tell me tell me what's tell me how this is happening so i can i can i can visualize so you are carrying her like this yeah yeah no no no, like this in the in front right okay um i haven't i have not transformed yet i haven't changed my appearance yet gotcha but i want to stand at the um I want to stand at the entrance and, and, you know, see if there's any sign of movement. Well, I explained to her, like, since there's bandits about, I may have to adopt a disguise to she, get us she, to safety. Well, yeah, she, she says there's, there's, there's so many bandits. I mean, how many, how many friends do you have? I have, we have many at a, at a town near here. But with me, I have a very strong friend. And a, and a very strong elk who's made of some stars. No, and just a, yell and from a, the hill. <laughs> and a very cowardly man of no note. <laughs> <laughs> so as as you are breaking as you are breaking the uh, composition, uh, the detailed, uh, and, and indeed with tactical notes uh, that could be of use. Mm-hmm. Uh, to the child so you you were looking down into the town as he has brought her out like this <clears throat> well yeah we were yeah we were hiding on the edge of the woods yeah. looking down on the town yeah uh, you can see um in his arms you can see the shape shift as he is just communicating this information you can see the body uh like twist almost like a rope Mm. Like in the middle of his, in the middle of his arms. Well, it's still now. <laughs> I was to say, do you're you, does he see this, or <laughs> yeah. he just keeps being a little kid? I'll I'll give him an opportunity to react to it. I'm but very worried. I like the idea that it's happening in the middle <laughs> of this. Well, this is, we have a big strong man, and there's an elk, <clears throat> um, and that that shape is like um, like twisting and almost like a a sound like a nautical rope uh, stretching in the breeze. Um, and you can see that the that night shift um, has now entered the night shift. Um, yeah, that's that's for you. Um, <laughs> it's it's now sort of a like a, a tattered uh, blue robe, uh, long arms, clawed fingers, um, a like blue flesh like your own, mm. uh, greasy matted black hair like my own behind yeah exactly it's, it's really it's it's basically like looking into a mirror did i pick okay. up a mirror yeah yeah exactly fetid well, i'll save you skin. Uh, yeah. like your own <laughs> it's just wrist drought uh no um and immediately upon this shift you're looking down you see the the shape change um and she is immediately reaching an arm up over your neck and trying to flip you to the ground mm. Hmm. Uh, so that is Initiative City. I, uh, <laughs> Welcome aboard. Woo woo! Do you like so what you're wanna, seeing? I don't want to yell. So I just, hey, pay attention. <laughs> you're in trouble. Yeah, you're being fought. Drop it. There's an active combat, and you're a participant. I think if I think if I'm being like assailed, I wouldn't be like, hold on, like <laughs> like <laughs> trying to assess oh, it while it's happening. Oh, you're welcome. No, no, no. We're just we're, we're gonna we're, once we enter into initiative, we'll. Hey! I'm the best. Mayor Labors, please you. We have got all kinds of cool stuff. Oh, so which which cool thing are we gonna give away first, uh, Alyssa? Is it the ones on top here? The rose, the delightful level up set of d sixes. Let's do that. Let's do that. 
So we'll we'll push that through in the channel. Uh, obviously, thank you so much for watching the show. Uh, so 20 is very yeah. high yeah. in our blitz. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's only 19 because well, then I subtract one. Well, so does Omen. <laughs> Omen has a negative one too. Uh, so uh, what do you got? Pith Rasp. Uh, 15. That is still higher. The number of your beasts. <gasps> number of the beasts. So that is still higher. A number of... A, a number... A, a beast. A number... Yeah. <laughs> Some beasts. A number of a beasts. Yeah. Um, uh, absolutely. So Dinar Blitz End, you are seeing this um, WrestleMania-esque <sighs> phenomena uh, unfold before your very eyes. You have a front row seat. So... Alright. I Pause my turn. A different... No. Uh, <laughs> so we're up here. Town's down here. Yeah. How far... Like, how far out did they get towards... Us. The, uh, I think I'm pretty much outside the door of the house. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you're like right in the outside. street. Yeah, yeah. You're, okay. you're seeing you're seeing these uh, buildings sort of like cracking uh, with heat, mm. uh, and he is sort of he's coming out of the the tiny trail that leads out to the. Hills. Okay. All right. So you've gotten a few steps. Yeah. You're, you're at the edge of the town. It's not going to fall on his head. <clears throat> no. Well, I'm just trying to assess the environment. Yeah, we're in just sort of a burning. Uh, not a courtyard, but just like a street. You're on the edge of the burning town, yeah, but we're yeah. still at the farthest edge. Um, can I? How far is that? Can I get to him in a? In a turn on, uh, on Clark Morgan. Yeah. yeah. Uh, any? Do I see any bandits or anything anywhere? Uh, right. You not. You don't think so? I mean, obviously, you could. You're welcome oh. to do a. Yeah, you, you've heard about this incredible technique. Sixteen. It's not a. It's not a twenty, but it's, it's not a twenty. Uh, so you almost did, you, four you, away. In, you, and your and your quick scan. You, you you feel like you've assessed it correctly. Uh, you're not. Uh, you're not aware of any subterfuge. Hmm. <sighs> this is gonna be rough. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> All right. Here's another problem. I I burned sending to tell you about the. Well, you're also being choked quiver. at the moment, or, well, or neck flot. So yeah, yeah. I gotta run down and save my sweet boy. Neck so. flot. <laughs> huh? That was good. Um. So uh, yeah, I'll run down. I will ride down on Clark. Morgan. Yeah, I was gonna say sword in hand. Uh, <laughs> Where's his toilet? Here's what there? it is. Crenar in the Bjorn. We're riding Clark Moore. Oh, so you so you, you snatched her up. Sword in my yeah. right hand. Quiver as a shield in my left hand. Exactly. <laughs> yes. yeah, by the scruff of his neck, facing outwards, he's a human shield <laughs> in this hand, and I got the sword in this hand, and I'm running down, and I'm riding down. It's like you're jousting. Yeah, it's exactly that. <laughs> you just you, you just want to you just want to know where he is. Yeah. Well, I don't know. So like he's get, obviously you a duplicitous character. Between like he has like a vest on, and yeah. then you're up up through the two. <laughs> yeah. On the back. Yeah. And, and honestly, and, and he can sit there comfortably like a kitten, like yeah. a baby kitten. Mm -hmm. Like this works. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So that's yeah. So you're gonna ride up. You're gonna ride up on this yeah. this hag. Yeah. Uh, so the hag and the Cathris are really a, a, a you know a, a not. Yeah, they are. A, they are a single. It's it's it would take some real doing. To, to hit to target her to target to target her independently of Cathris. Now okay. you can just swing, and obviously as your dungeon master, I would support that out. Uh, Does Clarkmore have charge? Uh, Clarkmore you you has. I, I think actually, as the DM, you get to dictate like what his oh, kit he, is. If he has when the you, goods, when you find Steed, stares him out. Yeah, he gets. He has all the um, all the goodies. He has an intelligence of five. Um, he. I I, gotta, I think he has more than five, but I got to get the uh, the book out. Yeah, because whatever the the stat kit is for oh. a uh, for a yeah, yeah. an elf, he's got. I've got that right here. Oh, you do? Oh, okay. that's why I was asking if he had charge. Okay, yeah, he has all charge, the old stuff. He, yeah, then he juices uh, Denar's attack. It's true. Um, yeah, he's like an awesome. I know, but I don't want to hit. I don't yeah. want to hurt you. Oh, and yeah, you definitely could. I wanna I wanna do a I, well. I want to do a. I don't want to go swinging in with the sword, but I do want to do a kind of bludgeoning attack. So mm. I'll swing the guy at you both, <laughs> as I would a shield, just to kind of knock you both down. Yeah, I was gonna say you could throw him at us. Yeah. No, I don't want to let go of him. Okay. I don't know what he's gonna do. He's a wild card. <laughs> but I'm gonna to keep a grip. I'm gonna use him as a as a as, as a weapon a, here. Okay. And okay. I'm just gonna do a little 
a little bash with him. He's going to come down the, the way that you might like drive by and like open a car door. Yeah. Yeah. Just to knock you both down. And then once you're <laughs> on the ground, you never you guys this. can skitter. And it's, I can, a, uh, it's good times. You should yeah. find out before right. you die. Right. So, Do one time. what would that be? What kind of a. <laughs> just a. I mean, it's. What, I, don't, to I don't know what my unarmed. Yeah, exactly. I don't have my unarmed stuff written no. down. For for this, just go, go ahead and give me the roll, and I'll I'll work it out back here. Oh, oh, that was almost a twenty. That was almost another twenty. That is that's. Can I that, juice? That is, you mean, you mean I goose about with it your stuff? Yeah, of course. Yeah, I gotta burn these down anyway. You can. Nope. No. Yes. Want any better? <clears throat> Not in the cards. So he so he yelps, and it is very high pitched, um, as you attempt to use him as a lance, um, in a, a, a radical. Reinterpretation of the jousting art. Everything else is pointy. Yeah. <laughs> no, listen. Clarkmore's it's, 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 antlers would have hurt. It's quite reasonable. Now, Kathris Draup, uh, your initiative allows you to go before. <sighs> Let's see. I guess this is just, this is pretty much just straight up combat. Well, you can disengage and hop on and we can just run away. How does that work? I've never, I've never done that before. Uh, well, you are currently, you are not. Grappled by this thing, it doesn't go yet. So oh. you can you can just throw her on the ground, I guess. Just try to just try to get away from her, right? I, kind of, I think when you're in that proximity, you thought you still had to disengage. I don't know. I don't know either. Yeah. Well, I, yeah. I mean, but all all it, all it would mean if you hadn't disengaged is that they would have an attack of opportunity, which okay. Still oh, is, is that all it is? Yeah. Right. I mean, that's okay. still okay. Mm-hmm. Well, unless unless you just take some damage and then you get to leave. Yeah. Fire town. Yeah. Unless, unless this thing is like actively. Like gripping me, I, I'm not doing any helping. Yeah, to, yeah. To no, keep it, it clutched, it has its own. Yeah, it has its own intentions here. All right, then. Yeah, let me let me uh, just dump it. Uh, yeah, I'm not helping at all. I I just I'm like <laughs> uh. right here. So what I would like you to do uh, is I would like you to give me an athletics check. <laughs> I've already done it. It's garbage. <laughs> so don't even worry. Take you want juice? Advantage. Yeah, juice it. Do you want oh, goose? true. Let's do it. Let's have some See if it helps. juices. All right. That is a nightmare. That would have been a five because it's a minus one. All right. Oh, 14. Fourteen. What does that get me? It's pretty good. Well, it depends on, uh, depends on how they do. They get a natural 20. Womp, womp, Duh. womp. Womp, womp, womp. Shout out, Council. Uh, your servant uh, has granted you a boon. Now, the second cool thing um, is this crazy pants. Uh, Dice holder uh, from Elderwood. It's very, very. It's actually the the guts of it are the same as the uh, AI employee Human manual. Guts. If you like those, yeah, exactly. It has real organs inside. Uh, just press your dice into them gently, and they'll stay. You'll see. Brand new GI track. <laughs> it's like a gizzard. It just hangs onto those dice. So yeah. you're so you're trying to uh, you're tr- you're trying to disengage with this thing. So and it and it is, it's, it's got a hold of your legs. So instead of well, like, I was going to say instead of disengaging, like I better drop it. But instead, I pile drive myself <laughs> with its. <laughs> no, 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 somehow you manage to suplex your <laughs> own self, <laughs> right? So as, as you've come by, you have you've you've swung a mayor at them. Yeah, which is a missed ra- a <laughs> radical a radical new technique. Um, and then you see you see uh, Kathris just try to shed this parasite. Yeah. Um, and they and they end up in a uh, even tighter knot. Mm. Nice job, boys. <laughs> a mess. <laughs> meanwhile, meanwhile, I wasted I wasted the twenty on a <laughs> to go first. I was gonna say, meanwhile, back at the uh, back at Promise, uh, Walnut and Rosie are going because all the bandits are dead. <laughs> yeah, I'm successfully really. defended. Great. Yeah, exactly. They won. All done, mm-hmm. and it's great. Um, the uh, night hag, like you can see the the lower lip, uh, just sort of like retract from the teeth. Um, and then just uh-huh. through its teeth, you can see spittle as it speaks in the language <coughs> of the night. Oh. Um, mm. Despite so. himself, Kathris goes, yes! <laughs> Finally! What is it? Okay! <laughs> uh, how many hit points do you have? This is very, very important oh. for this spell. Uh, oh. I have uh, 45. This is, this is just Kathris. I mean, we'll, we'll, okay. we'll need you in a second. I have 45. 45, okay. And I'm feeling good. I got a, I got a hag on me. I got my. I got a good night's sleep. Hag on you. Hag on your whole family. <laughs> All right. Let's cast at a higher level so horrible. there's more juice. Okay. Uh, you fall asleep. 
What? Like oh. as you as you're hearing what a time. As but, you're hearing the words. But but I'm a drow. Do you, have, do you have special protection against this? I don't think I can fall asleep uh, like that. Let's find out. It's a magic spell. Well, let's see. No. I thought, I thought, yeah, elves, I thought are... elves had an ability to not no. go to sleep. Here, let me see the thing. Oh, well, this ain't going to help you so much. You will. Because that's uh, it's generated, but it's not the most clear. I might have messed that up. Fey ancestry, is that what I'm thinking of? It might be, yeah. Let's find out. Judges? <laughs> I'm sure chat is going insane oh, yeah. right now. It's no now. good. It's no good. I agree. That's okay. This is part of the game. I well, I was just going to say, no, here, well, it won't be real D&D unless everybody is opening a book. Right. You know you what? Guys, we never uh, do this on the show, Page 23. So let's do it. 23? All right. Page 23. Elf, elf traits. Mm-hmm. Uh, Fey Ancestry, magic can't put you to sleep. And I have advantage on saving throws That's against being charmed. Okay, Go so... Ahead. Try, idiot. Well, no. <laughs> it's, it's, you never met an elf. <laughs> no. yeah, yeah. Hey, so <laughs> you have... Um, but what it does is it goes out past that to other targets. <laughs> but that's just how the spell works. Um, okay. I can't be put to sleep either. I'll this buy is it. a paladin. What I was just going to say, so... But Krenar... Oh, shit. And, <laughs> and the dumb and river. quiver can be put to sleep. <laughs> oh, All no. right. So uh, Krenar, oh, you, you just feel Krenar just oh. settles into the b- battle bjorn. Just a little little, little bubble. It'll make it easier. Yeah, this yeah. is great. Exactly. Um, yeah, and 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 quiver. This is just dead weight. Yeah. Hmm, good night. Yeah, just <laughs> hanging fun. off like as, as you're riding, his feet are just kicking up against yeah. the, the ground. Oh boy, I can. <clears throat> I can deal with this. It'll make it easier to throw at people. Okay, so uh, <clears throat> that is that. And so since Quiver is asleep, uh, I can't do any of the stuff that <laughs> I would do. Um, good nice. job, Jerry. So, uh, <laughs> Denar Blitzen, it's your turn. Oh, God, you're still tangled up. Yeah, I'm still still rolling around. You don't have like a poking attack? Well, yeah. Now I can just. Well, yeah. I, was, I can poke with the sword. I can she, like use the whip. Is she whip her like in the eye. Sitting on my chest, like the the old, like oh. the hag from dreams. You yeah, know? exactly. Yeah, or, that or, is that's actually the concept. Yeah. Of the oh, creature. Oh, this, yeah. this creature. Yeah. So uh, is she sitting up, or is, are we like grappling? So, like yeah, this? I mean, she she has she is. Uh, you guys are enmeshed to a certain extent, um, but she is sort of like. Down on her haunch. Mm. Okay, and you're vertical. Yeah. All right. Oh, I'm vertical. I thought you're horizontal. But, but you're laying down like oh. this, and she's yeah, up a little down. bit. Oh, okay. It would be easier to get a hold of this. I, she's teed up in a golf scenario. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah. Because right. if you were a little higher, I was going to do something different. All right. <laughs> I'll start to play polo. Yeah. 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 I'm going to polo this one. polo. I'm just going to gallop by. This time on the right side, where before it was on the left, I was using the the mayor as a car door. This time on the right, I'm just going to try to to polo. Let's see it. Yolo polo. All right. Uh, uh, take advantage too. Goose. Mm-hmm. Pre goose that. That's a two. That is rolling, Come on. rolling like gangbusters. Today. So you started out, dude. You used the twenty up front. Nine plus six, so fifteen. Uh, no. It, it swings. Say, it I don't swings. even know you're here. <laughs> it swings. I'm just. It's just me in this. And just zipping by and just whiffing. <laughs> Man, it's windy out today. God. Um, it swings straight over the top. Now, um, I'm going to pause the initiative after that turn for one moment to go back to the town of Promise. So, uh, after you have uh, fixed that new missive mm-hmm. um, onto its leg. You've allowed it to rest in its cage. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, as you are turning to leave the hut, um, the midwife, uh, you can see her sort of silhouetted in the doorway. Ouch. <clears throat> she says, What's this? What's this then? And I say, Treachery of the highest order. Agreed. All Explain right. yourself, girl. Not me, your mayor. The mayor of our town, who has been here since its founding, and you have been here since yesterday. I said, a useless mayor, by your own words, and proof lies here before you. He is still a person of promise, and you are a, a dirty 
woman. Who fed your whole town not hours ago. You had help. From the wild, I called <laughs> fish for your people. Now, while I get super indignant, yeah. she's like thinking in the back of it, she's like, oh, I so don't need this from the likes of you. <laughs> so uh, <clears throat> Rosie doesn't. She holds no truck with this sort of thing. Of course not. She's not about to be dressed down in this way. And uh, she takes a step forward and her the momentum of it doesn't stop. Mm -hmm. She actually continues forward and falls into the midwife. What? So the midwife reaches her arms underneath Rosie's arms and sets her aside and says, what have you brought to this town? She turns over uh, Rosie Beestinger, and you can see that uh, the lips themselves are almost like a golden yellow color. And uh, there's forking uh, veins of color out from the lips, and you think that her, you think that her throat may be swelling as well. Uh oh. Oh no. Okay. Um, so the the, the the mid the midwife has got <laughs> a hand deep in that pouch. Uh, she is rummaging around. Uh, for the tools of her art. Okay. Um, and she says, I need you to explain yourself much quicker than you were before. And I say, um, I say, I received word from our companions to check the mayor's household because something was awry. When we arrived, we found he had been contacting the bandits behind your back. She sets her jaw at this and she reaches a hand up you can see uh, people are walking back and forth, oh. uh, preparing, you know, preparing oh. for the evening. Uh, <laughs> preparing for my death. <laughs> yeah, 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 huh? Uh, <clears throat> um, she, she snaps uh, for help, someone to come over, and uh, someone notices and begins to walk over and then falls face first uh, in the middle of the rough path between the two. Uh, bunk houses. Great. So there's a blight in this town. Mm. Wonderful. Um, so upon seeing Rosie like this, um, I rush over to her and um, well, it's like, you know, and the, the grandmother. Mid the midwife is gentle, gentle. Have you seen this before? It's happened. It doesn't happen on its own. How does this happen? It happens because someone intends it to happen and does a specific sequence of things. What things? Poisoned fish. <coughs> I, yeah, I was like, oh, is it from the vial we found earlier? <coughs> she says, this is not that. This is gullet. And she is, she is, um, she has taken a knife out mm -hmm. and she says, you may not want to look at this. Oh yeah, this is some Xena Warrior Princess stuff. She oh, did yeah. this in every oh, episode. All the classics. She did this in every episode. Okay, yes. Yeah, I'm excited. <clears throat> and, and and so so do you, are you are you here for this? Uh, yeah. Walnut's gonna um, uh, be very be very near. And, Absolutely. Um, so you 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 have seen this. I mean, you are not unfamiliar with. I'll study. I'll study. Yeah, Rosie. you are not unfamiliar with poisons. Mm -hmm. Um, and uh, she is able to make a a slit in that swelling and uh, she has a series of small uh, objects she has fashioned to allow air to pass through. Uh, and she says, I can make a remedy for this. It's painful, but not fatal, but it's, it's a 10 hour kettle. Tell me what you need. <clears throat> she says, I, I have most of it. I'm gonna need someone to babysit this kettle. Say no more. Right. She says, I need you to help me carry her into my hut. And then I need you to help me carry the rest of these people into the bunkhouses. And as she's saying this, it's just probably half the town. You're just seeing people like oh couples are walking and then one of them falls down. Like this, this town is in the grip of something. Okay. 
Things were not good before. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and enhance my own ability um, for strength. So I can nice. do some lifting. At bull strength? Yeah, so I can get... Those guns? Two. Nice. Mm. Absolutely. Um, two at a time. So you help her... Uh, you help her... With Rosie so carefully. Oh, abs- absolutely. You help her move everyone out. Um, she is... She is uh, along with you, arranging them in the lower levels of these bunks. Mm-hmm. So these homes have been transformed into a kind of uh, quick triage center. Yes. Um, uh, after that, uh, after after people are set up and their families are with them, uh, she retreats to uh, her own hut with you. And mm-hmm. you you you've seen you've seen systems like this before. Okay. Like she has a. She has a, a meticulously arranged sequence. There's fish drying. Oh, this is a folk medicine situation. Oh yeah, no, this is a 100% uh, CSI medieval a medieval England situation. Fantastic. Going on 100%. Um, so she gets the the kettle going, uh, and you have uh, an opportunity to learn from a master. I'm ready. Uh, here we will jump back. Yes. Uh, to that, Kathris Draub. We got a night hag Sinair hmm. over here. There's a, a moment like you can feel sort of like a, a tingling, like a like a, a pincushion prickle uh, in your uh, like in your in your fingertips, and you 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 blink a couple times and feel relaxed. But it's more of a, a spa treatment than a a, a mystical uh, sleep system. <laughs> My sleep number. Yeah. Zero. <laughs> nice. Uh, Concrete. And, oh, okay, but if it's my turn. It is. Let's see. Um, yeah, that whole cool quip. <laughs> I don't know. I know what I'm going to do. I'm trying to think of the quip before, but this isn't you really need the great quip? that either. Yeah. yeah. Um, Ice to see you. Yeah, eyes to see you. It's not a good pun, <laughs> but but I'm gonna go ahead and you do... apologize to the foe. The eyes yeah. have it. Yeah. Sorry, I don't have anything prepared. And then uh... <laughs> the, eye, the eyes have it, and then groin strike, groin strike, groin strike. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. What I want to do is uh, uh, I want to cast um, dancing lights, um, but uh, I, I believe this she's is look... a, this is a drab classic. She's looking into my face. I'm putting. I'm putting lights here, light there, and then one right here because the third eye, the pineal gland. Mm-hmm. I just want to blind her with them. Get that, get that glow man action. Do you have your card? Uh, I don't know if I have a card for it. Let me see. You might. To the books. To the books. Once more. It's a book heavy episode. It is. I like it. Dancing. Lights. Talking about some dancing lights. Uh, it's concentration. One action. Dancing lights. Uh, four torch-sized lights within range. Uh, orbs that hover in the air for the duration. Uh, I mean, it doesn't say here, like, if it goes right inside of an eyeball, it will blind <coughs> the, the character. But I'm assuming if it's a night hag, she won't enjoy it. You're trying to, your intention, I just want to make, make sure I understand. Your intention is to inconvenience this night hat. Yeah. I want to put lights in, in her eyeballs. Fatally inconvenient. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody likes it. Yeah. You could surprise me with some lore and have her be like, aha. <laughs> this is a strength. This is a combat equivalent of uninviting someone to a party. Just <laughs> no, 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 no. It's like unfriending. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> no, 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 no. Follow it's block. The, no, no. It, 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 it's the equivalent. It's the equivalent of muting a follower. Yes. Mm. That's what it is. See, the follow is still there. That's a low threshold, is all I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. No, give me those lights right in that yeah. face. Yeah, I like it. Full on. How about two and one in each eye of hers and then one in each nostril? Because I thought it was funny while I did it. <laughs> <laughs> you just, you're just trying to be creative with it. You're trying to swing it. I got four, and I don't feel like doing only two. No. So. (laughs) It's like, is there a period you do two, and then you wait for the other? Just do the rest of it. Anyway, so these remind me about the dancing lights. It's it's just a bright light. That's all it is. It's like a 10,000 candle watt 
Yeah, it's a hot light. I've done this before. Yeah. To to to, uh, to start to to delight and amaze. No, not to like not as a to distraction. enjoy, yeah. but as a distraction. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You don't want to it's like a flash bulb. Yeah. So you, you 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 basically just create this wreath of light. No, right in the yeah. right in the retina. There's right in, no right in like, the zone. Yeah. I'm not making like a like a ring light so she can do her makeup. <laughs> Whatever night hags do. <laughs> Right. So you you manufacture them. Is there any other, anything else we want to know about these lights physically? Doesn't he have to roll against it for it to be like a distraction or something? Oh, I don't know. Did you five d six? What? Well, just say. Well, that was the other option. Um, <laughs> yeah. But I don't want her to run away. I want. I feel like we need to kill it, unless it goes back and tells everybody what's going on. Oh. Does she get disadvantage? I don't remember what it is. Yeah. Don't worry. Oh, if if if. If, uh, if they're that light's fascinated in by it. Is that the term? I don't know. <laughs> Blinded. I'm making stuff up so Jerry can look yeah. it up. Well, yeah. It's a cantrip, right? I mean, yeah. I think it's just a cantrip. I'm pretty it's sure just about the it's a light source. Yeah, I think you're right. It's 46. No. Don't it's you try. 40 yeah. It's 46. <laughs> it's 46 damage. Yeah. <laughs> Flat. Yeah. Okay. I, 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 I'm, I'm correct. Yeah. These are, yeah. Okay. We're good? Yeah. Yeah. She dead? No. That's not how it works. <laughs> you sure? <clears throat> Double check. <clears throat> you create uh, these uh, twinkling bulbs. Um, I mean, it's a full-size orb. <laughs> Listen, hey, don't don't minimize <laughs> what I've been able to accomplish yeah. here. No, uh, she like her uh, her eye starts to twitch, and she's Ugh. and then she's like she like like an insect. She's like trying to wave it away. Well, they ain't going nowhere. No, they're not going. They're not going anywhere at they don't all. Have a mass. Exactly. That's uh, right. Exactly. It's very, very good. Uh, what she is going to do instead is she is going to <laughs> put him asleep. Yeah, no, you can't do that. <laughs> uh, she is going to uh, swipe at you uh, with these brutal claws. We're what all was your upset. AC? I understand. Yeah, uh, AC is sixteen. Oh, then you are hit. Oh. Oh, did man. you add your plus one? Yeah, I did. Okay. Yeah, don't forget. I got excited about you it. Got, you got super cool rings that I stole from Chris Perkins' campaign. Hee hee. his house. Hee hee. Uh, so this this catches you uh, just vertically straight down the, the wow. chest uh, for 12 points. Okay. Yikes. Uh, how close are we? Oh, I'm still right next to you, right? I'm assuming, yeah. All right. You I'll, stopped there? I'll, yeah. I'll tank it. I can tank my new ability. Yeah. With this new level, I got a divine allegiance, so Ooh. I can take the damage instead of a uh, willing party, and I can tank it. I can't amend it. Whatever the number you were gonna it. take, I can just take. What was so it? Sixteen. I'll take it. Twelve. Oh, twelve. I'll take twelve. I have more. I was already to take sixteen. That's awesome. This yeah. is great. This is gonna be a great opportunity. How often can you use it? It's just a power. It's just an awesome. Yeah. Until he's dead. Until, I'm yeah. dead. Until he <laughs> falls over dead. It's just a thing I do. It's like constantly running. Like uh, what's the other one I got? The uh, the aura of protection. Like mm. it's just a thing. <clears throat> so everyone got to get nice and close, and yeah. you'll get just all sorts of buffs. Yeah, the buffet. Yeah. So got to climb on that. Yeah. yeah. So uh, where are you like a hat? Yeah. In the um, uh, against the arm uh, quiver. It's like, huh, whoa, whoa. It's a, w- a wake after a turn. <laughs> well, good for him. He just it's he's just hanging out. Yeah, he's hanging off of his uh, tasteful vest. Uh, Denar Blitzen, get her. I wish you guys were just separated, <laughs> and I could just pick you up. She's, you could pick her up. She's just hanging out on top. That's of what I'm gonna do. I'm yeah. gonna just get her out of I'm there. I'm gonna break you guys apart. I'm gonna act in tandem with Clarkmore. <laughs> I want Clarkmore to jam his antlers into her. And I'm gonna pull you off. <laughs> I'm gonna forcefully separate you two like that. Well, Clark Clark okay. could probably do it by himself. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. I get it. How, good, uh, how tight of a grip does she have, I guess, is also part of the question. Well, I mean, she just slashed at me, so she's got one of her hands off at least. Yeah. 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 I, I, I think, especially now that she is engaging in these melee attacks, I think that you could probably strike the. We can, I, 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 specifically because we can do tandem attacks, me and the steed, yeah. this is a way to. Get some damage on her, separate you guys, and I can pull you right to your feet. Like okay. yoink you up on the Clarkmore or something. Nice. Uh, why do I roll for that? Strength? Well, 
I get, do I got to roll for me and then roll for Clarkmore? Yeah, roll, roll for Clarkmore first, and we'll right. figure out the first part. Because that's a big part of the plan. Okay, I forgot to... You got to do advance. You're good. Yeah, yeah. You're yeah. fine. Fifteen's healthy. Fifteen. Oh, okay. uh, I don't know what Clarkmore would get. Would he get plus what? to my strength or anything? Don't even worry about it. Right. I, I, I'll handle the damage on this side. All right. How about my, my pull? Mm -hmm. Grabbing my so, sweet boy. Yeah, yeah. We want athletics. Okay. All right, cool. I'm... You're I'm athletic as shit, so that's great. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 I'm, gonna be an easy call. I'm gonna juice this one. Twenty. Oh! What the hell? <laughs> on the things on that don't you? matter. What's going on with you? I All don't right. know. <clears throat> it's feast or famine with me. It's exactly. either swords or plowshares. Here, so shadow council. Uh, because we have gone through our incredible gifts, um, it's it's a mere gift card. But it's actually a good time to have a gift card because uh, all the C team and acquisitions incorporated. Uh, dice boxes and stuff got restocked, so it's okay. I roll. Uh, I took advantage, so I'm rolling again. Maybe it's another one. Hey, oh if it's another twenty, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give out that card. Ah, uh, that's less. Right uh, so it's a twenty-six. <laughs> exactly. So you gain a couple HP. Uh, I'm mean, like strengthened by that <laughs> lift. Yeah. <laughs> like wow, so powerful. The lift you I think up, your spine snaps. <laughs> you fold backwards. Your spine snaps. You get pulled back. You the eagles now. fly. Yeah. yeah. All right. So, um, so Clarkmore snorts and just catches and just guides her to the ground. Just like imprisons her against the ground. Yeah. And then you just you just reach you just reach down to just grab. Describe this process for me. What does a natural twenty let your friend <laughs> Dinar, get up look like? Dinar knows nothing but neck scruff grabbing. <laughs> His guy, the guy over here by the scruff of his <laughs> neck. He just grabbed you by the scruff of your neck. And just kind of like, but like in a uh, like a pizzeria, like da -da -da. <laughs> just like uh, alley oop, like a one arm, like whoop, and then you land perfect, perfect ten. The Russian judge gives nine point five. What's his deal? Don't, Don't know. know. Everyone else has got tens across the board. You land safely as just on a pillow, right on old Clark Moore. I was gonna say, as somebody who's you know used to you know the power of flight. Making me just go limp. Yeah. And like by the time you've gripped me and you're pulling me up, I'm I'm like a noodle. There's no complaint from me. <laughs> no, it's you okay. just limp you in there. Just like a towel. Just like yeah. <laughs> Slag it over the back. Just right over your shoulder. Yeah. Um, like a very right. preppy uh, sweater. Like right. So you, so you so you are you are back. Yeah. Exactly. Just like just the sleeves. Mm -hmm. um, just so got draped on me. <laughs> so you have. Uh, uh, you're gonna move. Is it time to get uh, out of here? Oh yeah, I guess. I mean, we still have a move because we didn't move because we were right yeah. there on the mix. Yeah. yeah. Well then, we'll we'll skedaddle. Actually, I don't need to fight this thing. No. Right. So she, so she's gonna yeah. unleash a uh, swipe uh, on on Clarkmore. Yeah. That's fine. Clarkmore's flint. Uh, Clarkmore. Clarkmore, I don't give a Haunt. shit. Clarkmore can take. It. Fuck him. Yeah. Fucking what? I, I swear to I, look. It's oh, twenty. No. Womp, womp, womp. Womp, 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 womp. Okay, I, just, I want to apologize to Patrick Groom, our social media manager, because he has to do... He has to... Yeah, he's, he has to give all this, this out. $20... Is, is, are, they gift, are they $20 gift certificates? Shit. That's too much. We need to talk about how much these gift certificates are. All right. Anyway, so it's $20 for a natural 20. I mean, I guess I can see the synergy, um, but, it, it, you know, by the same token... I lose money every time I do it. Let's just reassign crit to ten. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Statistically the same. <clears throat> One. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. Any number is statistically going to be the same. <laughs> <clears throat> so you, so you have picked, you have picked him straight up off of the ground, mm -hmm. uh, slapped him over the back, um, <laughs> stropped him a couple times to keep him sharp. Um, uh, just a quick. Mwah. And then yeah, it's it. and then it's time to go. Yeah, I don't think. I don't know. I don't even fight this thing. Well, let's just move. Don't forget like, Coriander. We're here for. <laughs> she could find her way. We'll ride back past her. Oh, yeah. And then <clears throat> we'll just be like, come just on, girl. Say, come on, horse. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> She's still at the edge of the yeah, forest. Absolutely. So when we run back, we'll just. She'll follow us, I'm assuming. Yeah. Hopefully. Well, we'll see. Just yeah. wave a gold in her face. Yeah, just, just, yeah, just dispassionate. Yeah. You can see the, like, just <laughs> so, uh, in the. Uh, in her sort of copper plates, you can just see the dancing fires of this town that she is observing dispassionately. Um, so uh, you you basically you basically pull your way back out. The night hag is fast, but not that fast. The night hag cometh. Yeah, yeah, okay, absolutely. So the um, 
So she she chases you between these uh, soft rolling hills you can see in the moonlight for a while, um, but eventually you see her just dematerialize, like in mid stride. Hmm. Um, how good at you guys are knowing where to go? <clears throat> this guy awake? Yeah, he's awake. Uh, I mean, does he want to? Does uh, answer for his crimes? Yeah, I was yeah. going to say, do you, uh, friend? Well, let's go back uh, to promise, uh, unless you'd prefer to be uh, cut up and eaten right here by me. <laughs> <laughs> so that seems like an intimidation check yeah, to you're me. Yeah, just going to intimidate. Yeah, do it. I'll try. Roll it. Sure. Well, uh, yeah, let's try. Roll it's dice. Not, it's not a bad one, but I've never really used it before. Oh my goodness! Oh, what Here's what happens. It's a one. <laughs> yes. And um, I'm not going to take advantage. I won't. All right. After you uh, do this, yeah. <laughs> I say, uh, 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 tell us which way to go, or I'm going to, uh, or unless you want to be cut up and eaten right here. And then a little a piece of gum that I was chewing just falls out of my <laughs> mouth, and I'm a little embarrassed. Yeah. <laughs> is there a, is there a moment where you consider getting it? Yeah, I reach for it and it kind of like bounces off, yeah. and then it's just in my hair, and I but I, and I'm like, that's right. I like try to make it like it's a cool stunt, but uh, he doesn't buy it. As scared as he is, but like it gives him comfort. <laughs> but <laughs> he's I wanna, like, oh man, I'm being, I am actually being held by complete doofuses. <laughs> no, I want to, I want to amp the intimidation on the back end of that. Okay, because it's he's not buying it at all. But I want to be like. Don't fall for this act. He's crazy. <laughs> My boy's crazy. He will eat you. He, I've seen him do it. He's already thinking about what he's going to do to your eyes. And I'm going to intimidate. Here, listen. Please don't roll any 20s, okay? Uh, I'm going <laughs> to... I guess it wasn't a 1. I'm going to intimidate and I'm going to take God the advantage. All right. We roll it hot today. All right, 16. That's all right. Yeah, but plus 6. So, 22. Yeah, I guess, yeah, technically that's a 20. And if, all right. So that's, <clears throat> that's 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 quite good. There is a there is a uh, a moment where uh, he he grows very still in your grip. Um, <laughs> just like it goes from like I don't believe that to like wait are you <laughs> oh, serious? Shit. Like no, that's the, that's the extra level of crazy man. <laughs> it's the crazy you can't even believe. Yeah, that's the crazy. That, that's that's who you avoid. So, so he becomes he becomes a kind of uh, physical compass, and then he just raises. If you ever, whenever you need a, a point between two points, he just goes just half heartedly <laughs> raises up. He's a uh, he's seen better days. He's seen better days. Here, been a so, star so, of many so, planes. Exactly. So you guys are on What's your that? way back uh, to town. Krenar has not seen anything. Hmm. She has been asleep the entire time. Aww. You didn't get to see all the <coughs> awesome stuff I did? <laughs> no, no, she got to see no night hags. I keep looking is, down like, eh? <laughs> which is probably... Uh, yeah. Which is probably Flexing. for the best. Dude, that, that's the best. Oh, well, how about yeah, now? How about that? What was that shit? I'm like, <clears throat> hey, wake up. Hey. Uh, I'm so, a real daddy. <laughs> no, exactly. Uh, so, uh, Walnut, mm -hmm. uh, you have... She, is, she has uh, uh, the midwife, who mm -hmm. we determined canonically... Is named Whiff Mid. Whiff Mid. Uh, it's just Whiff Mid. Oh, sorry. I think it's good. Oh no, I, we're we're creating it now. We're creating gotcha. canon even mm. as we speak. I'm ready. Um, we're playing Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? Now, um, so she has she has set, uh, she has set herself uh, to this task, and uh, you can hear her mumbling something, but you'd have to listen close to hear it. I'd love to. Go ahead. Listen. Perception. Uh, plus seven sixteen. Oh, that's quite good. Uh, she says she is actually saying, "I'm sorry for thinking the worst of you," Aww. but it's an apology like below the human threshold of audibility. My little elven ears twitch. <clears throat> yeah, exactly. No, I just, I, I just, I just nod. Like, like far away dogs forgive her. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. In the distance, in the distance. I will. It's okay. <clears throat> um, I, yeah, I, I just nod at her. Yeah. Sagely. Yeah. So she says, have you spent any time over a cauldron? Uh, near one. Not over them. She says, she says tell me. And then she is she is grinding things fresh, 
um, she is clearly like her body can do this without any mental effort. Like she just knows how to, her body knows how to do it. Um, I'd say, I say, well, where I come from, we had many mothers of medicine. Uh-huh. Uh huh. She says, have you ever seen one of these? And uh, she is uh, sort of just going through her spice rack, essentially. Nice. Um, and you can while away literally as long as you want to. And she, <laughs> these are, it's literally the most normal shit. Like, she knows so much about it that she doesn't know what's, she doesn't know the 101 part of the process anymore. Oh, yeah. It's just like, she just, she, she just wants to invite you wherever you are. Into. Just in. Cash out. Mm. What is she showing me? Come be with us. Uh, she has uh, all the names for it. Like all the names she has for it are wrong. Gotcha. Like it's all it's like, like the folk names. Yeah, exactly. It's like some of them are some of them are body king's foil. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, okay. exactly. It's 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 straight up. Yeah, it's it's straight up Tolkieniering gotcha. uh, from end to end. Perfect. But um, yeah, there's there's always there's always another container somewhere that she has to sift through. Um, when, tell me how, uh, things go when you return. Of course you need to come through the river. Over the river? Uh, through, through the, the woods. woods. Well, you're, you're already through the woods, actually. This is just the river now. No. Okay. I think, uh, Drugi, we should just ride right up to the mayor's house. We should just ride. Because we know Wallen and Rosie are in there. Uh, this guy has been nothing but trouble. I want to ride into the middle of town and just throw him on the ground and be like, his is the bad guy. The cues. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Your neighbors are on fire and it's this guy's fault. He's working with the bandits. I want to so that's and not then a Buck like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You just come uh. back. The red coats. <laughs> yeah. Just roll back in. You you make a a, a big scene. It's pretty late uh, here in this. It's pretty late here in the town. It's a, there's still some activity just because uh, People need to have time to themselves after spending the rest of the time yeah. trying to haul wealth out of the earth. Um, Aren't also half of them falling ill? Yeah, yeah exactly. But they, they're not. They're not familiar with that. Right. That that okay. exact process here. Um, but there's enough people that you think will be able to hear it. Um, but you don't. I say make a big public display. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Um, right. It's just like people. People uh, fewer than you would expect um, start to appear in the doorways. <laughs> Uh, of the bunkhouses. Mm. You don't uh, know he's been working with the bandits, though. So. Yeah, I was going to say, actually, do we know? You, did, <laughs> you, did you guys relay the message back to us? Mm-mm. We just told you to check because he was being fishy. Yeah. Yeah. The, okay. door, the, door, to, the door to the uh, mayor's uh, uh, hut is still, is still open. But we know, he's, we know he's fishy and we know he was intentionally trying to lead us away. And we know he's... Well, yeah, whether or not... He's you, not trustworthy. I'm going to try and find Walnut and Rosie. Yeah. So I'm, and I have the last place I know is Mayor's Hut. So I'm gonna go there. Yeah, you can. Do you want to hang out in the square and, and parade this guy around? Dinar would want to publicly shame this guy. <laughs> yeah. Just right over the back and of the just elk. like bully him. Yeah, but yeah. he wouldn't have a reason. I'm operating with knowledge that he wouldn't have. But because I forgot they didn't. Yeah, return the missive. That's true. It won't so be hard he to wouldn't, secure. He wouldn't 100 percent know, so he wouldn't do it. It won't be hard to secure it. Uh, as you as you enter the um, hut, you can tell it's been pretty trafficked, uh, just in the uh, in the ground inside. Um, but as soon as as soon as you come in, there this uh, there's a bird uh, in a cage mm. uh, next to an empty cage. And as soon as you come in with Lagati, it begins to you you discover that there is a kind of coup that is hostile. It's it's surprising at first, but you know, and for some reason, Lagati does not like the bird either. Hmm. It's in a cage; you can't get at it. <laughs> yeah, that's no good. It can't eat anybody. It. This is the opposite of a bird. But I don't want to upset somebody's pet, so I'm gonna <laughs> let's tuck Lagati away. I'll just say, no, no, no. Yeah, if, 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 if let's say it, he's uh, returned to staff form, and maybe the the mouth is moving. Yeah. In a frightening way, and it's like, no, 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 still, be still, be still. He 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 uh, issues a couple more uh, surgical wrecks uh, to the bird, uh, and then acquiesces. 
He's harmless, Bert. He's harmless. <laughs> uh, is it, are you in here? Well, who's in here? Nobody's here. It's just been... No. No, you are you are completely by yourself except for this bird. Although it's been more ransacked. Yeah. And it's because you did it once over, so the place is, had been turned over. All the documents are collated. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> this place is a mess except for the desk. <laughs> yeah. no, every day, it's, it's in, out. Mm-hmm. Like, there's new trays. Uh, all, all the right. documents are in perfect order. There is... Um, yeah, I don't know if it'll it'll work at this if I don't have proximity. I want to not run afoul of that of that rule. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, I'll reach out and see, like, Walla, Rosie, what? I'm like looking in, in other directions. Do I see motion? Is there any like specific hub of uh, activity? Uh, Rosie does not answer. Am I free to answer? Yeah, absolutely. I say. Um... I say, Thris, come to the midwife's hut now. Yep. <laughs> Agreed. Yeah, sure. <laughs> it's real jaunty. Yeah. I'd love to. Oh, and then and sounds great. <laughs> she says, bring the mayor. Yeah, we have the mayor, and uh, he almost got us uh, cooked and eaten. <laughs> well, he's working with the bandits, so. So. Well, this I knew is it. Well, there you go. Yes. I knew it. Uh-huh. <laughs> what, is it? what are you? What are you? You just have him in your grip. Yeah, I never let him go. Yeah, I still got him. <laughs> scruff of the neck. To make your show. Yeah. Yeah. I go. I knew it. I knew it. Yeah, that fits. <laughs> yeah, that all lines yeah. up. Yeah, I'll make, so I make my way over to mm-hmm. the to that midwife's. So you are just parading around in the center yeah, of the town. I'm in the middle of the town, just yelling. This guy sold you all out. <laughs> Making a big show of it. I'm really mad that he tried to just take us in the wrong direction. It's actually like, about being inconvenient. It's about being inconvenient more than anything. <laughs> this guy disrespected my time. Yeah. <laughs> you know how much my time is worth? And I spent it circling <laughs> random trees and shit. <laughs> also, he Even killed another town. <laughs> he was responsible for the death of your neighbors and friends over that hill. Shrimp's gone. I don't remember yeah. the name of it. I don't, <laughs> shrimp's no gone. shrimp left. I hope you didn't like shrimp. I hope no one here likes shrimp. I don't know what you're going to trade your silver for now. <laughs> not gems. Not gems, not shrimp. <laughs> Walnut comes out, not gems. <laughs> no way. So people, are, people are, are coming out, rubbing sleep out of their eyes, trying to parse this. I throw them on the ground, I push them. I say, tell them. Tell everyone what you did. <clears throat> he says, uh, yeah, I tried to put together a deal that would save this town. That's that's correct. Mm-mm. Truth. Uh, yeah, now you pick him back up. Well, honey, burn truth. Uh, <laughs> but... I can fuck him up. I can fuck him up. Give him a quick little backhand. Try again. No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Try again. <laughs> I grab him. And I look at him, and I use command, mm-hmm. and I say, confess. And then I throw him back on the ground. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> That's really, really awesome. Right, yeah. He, he is not able to resist uh, this compulsion. And so it starts out uh, with him making, uh, with, that, with him enunciating a position that involved Yes, there were secret communiques. Um, what was the purpose? To create a situation? I wasn't telling them the real information. And it's like, he's like, it's, isn't it interesting? So these four roll into town. Um, and all of a sudden, there's a brand new narrative. We have worked together in this community for months, creating wealth, wealth we all share in. And then as the command starts to take hold, <laughs> the language shifts. <laughs> and you can tell that even he is surprised by the depth. It's like liar, liar. <laughs> Can't stop himself. And breadth. <clears throat> he says, yeah, these four individuals, let's call them true heroes, <laughs> <laughs> for lack of a better term, and his eyes are wide, but the mouth is continuing to operate. And he says, yeah, did they discover uh, a plot of mine? 
Absolutely. <laughs> uh, have I worked to undermine this town uh, ever since they came into contact with me? Yes. Did I sell your lives for silver? 100%. I love that it's got the political cadence and he's even, he's doing yeah. the... Yeah, exactly. He's, <laughs> he's, 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 he's maintaining speech. it. You're he's waiting like, for the butt, but it never comes. It doesn't come. Like, <laughs> he's like, did I, did I introduce a file into the river uh, that terrified fish? Absolutely. Yeah, <laughs> that's on me. When I was on my way out of town, did I poison the stores of fish that they had gathered? Absolutely, yes. That's a 100%. That's 100%. I never ate it. Look at me, I'm hale and hearty. So you guys are fucked up. I did not speak to a woman in Flint, Michigan, <laughs> who's trying to provide for her family. Uh, so, so, so now he is now he is literally just standing in the middle of this. Yeah. <laughs> just standing in the middle of this. Uh, simple town square, just <laughs> reciting crimes, like going back to his yeah. school days. <laughs> it's like, been Bob denied your loan. Yes, <gasps> out of spite. Yes. <laughs> Can I hear this commotion and just be like standing in the doorway of the oh, website? Like absolutely. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, I would be like, well, you can't even be angry. I can't mad. I'm happy now. I'm like, well, I told you. There's something that we should do. We should change the missive that the bird has and tell them to attack from the direction that we're going to fortify. Tell them to eat all the fish. Oh, yeah. Gross. Say, come, come in. They'll offer no resistance. They'll prepare a fish banquet. <laughs> <laughs> it's a perfect crime. Laid on arms. Go into the cave <laughs> beneath the explosives. <laughs> there we will sign our, our uh, surrender. Uh, um... Okay, yeah, well, you do have time to change that missile. All right, so, well, yeah, you I come out. Do and that. and no. the, uh, at, the front, uh, at the front gate of the town, you can see a shape uh, beginning to coalesce. Oh, no. Um, and it's okay. It's okay. Okay. And as, fuck. No. Uh, uh, and as they, uh, as they grow closer to the light, you can see that it is Sorsha. Oh. Uh, and she has five swords with her. And two bows. Nice. Um, that she drops off in the middle, but she has clearly come into the middle of a, like she has arrived at a moment in this town, uh, and she she drops off all these weapons like in a pile basically, mm -hmm. and then looks up uh, to you, Dinar. I say, well, I'll give her Karnar. <laughs> There you go. Yeah. <laughs> she just she reaches up, Krenar, and then Krenar goes from one Bjorn to another Bjorn. Like the transfer is complete, sleep is maintained. Nice. Aww. <clears throat> um, Good co parenting right there. Say, uh, exactly. Yeah, you missed it. It's about uh, respect. Yeah. <laughs> Never fight in front of the kid. Uh, I go, yeah, yeah, you missed a bit. Uh, but the she mayor says, here. She says, she says, fill me in. Ah, uh, the mayor here. Well, first, let's go back a bit. Uh, me and that guy. <laughs> big, big wave. Yep. Uh, <clears throat> went over to Frimp, on fire. Couldn't do anything about it. She, she mayor's fault. She nods uh, with some gravity. Yeah. Uh, mayor's fault. And then, uh, and then I look over and I see Walnut in a doorway, and I go. And that one uh, uncovered this mayor's plot. <laughs> that one. <laughs> just Another wave. Day. Just big wave. <laughs> and, uh, and I had yeah, a, and uh, I had a, confessing a, everything. A night hag uh, sat on me while he was uh, doing some kind of equestrian yeah. maneuvers. <laughs> some kind of a... <laughs> Dressage. Yeah. <laughs> as, just, as effective as it was. It was just horse dancing. Yeah. <clears throat> she says, so she steps forward. Uh, into the middle of the square, and there's some, uh, there is whispering from those who are still awake mm. at this. And she says, Do you identify yourself in any particular way in the missives you send to Merrick Sharp? 
Is there anything encoded? Oh. Is there anything we need to know about writing a letter mm. to him? And he doesn't. He doesn't say anything. Like he is still trying to come to grips with the fact that um, he just narrated a documentary about his entire life, literally every bad thing he's ever done. Is he? I guess he's being told compelled the to confess. I just want to make sure he. It was him. So being compelled to confess, would he have to answer that? I guess that's not a confession. Yeah. Like I mean, it could be like again, like liar, liar, where he's just like intimidate him. He's just not going to say it. Yeah, you know? I've been intimidated scale left and right. <laughs> I've just been the bane of this dude's existence. <laughs> so I might as well, you know, not stop now. You you going to give him the big stuff? I'll give him. I'll get in there. I'll get get down off his face or get it down. Off Clark Moore, get in his face, stand on his <laughs> and face. then say, take his face, take it off, set uh, yeah. it aside, take his face. Here, here. here. So, <laughs> are, are we talking about a draconic entitlement scenario? No, okay. I don't need to. I'm just trying to figure him. out what the threshold is. I don't need to entitle him just to get this bit of info out. I think we can creatively do it. I will just roll to intimidate. I'll be like, I'll just remind him of all the <laughs> shit I've just put him through, <laughs> using him as a weapon. <laughs> Just in, think, influencing, forcing my will on him, and then I'll just say, I, the lady asked you a question, buddy. 17? Goose. Yeah, that's... Give it, after everything else that has happened, uh, his, his reserves are shot. Yeah. And the narrative he has been telling himself about how this is going to resolve itself um, is definitely showing some cracks in it. <clears throat> um, and so he sa- he says, when I when I send a letter to the reclamation group, it never includes names of any kind. And the first letter, the first word, always begins with T. Mm. Hmm. No names. Okay. First word T. I got this. <clears throat> I got that. Um. And Sorsha walks up, uh, tilts her head to the side, like turns her nose, tilts it to the right, and kicks him <laughs> in the knee. Uh, and when he when he collapses forward, <clears throat> there is. His head is off before you see the sword come out. Oh, jeez. <laughs> and when she puts it back in, hmm. she walks off into the mine. It was... What? <laughs> he could have still been useful. <laughs> yeah, to somebody. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Shadow Council, Mary Lee please you. Oh. Hey, uh, we have reached our break. Uh, we are going to take full... Uh, full use of this break. We're really going to wring it out and maximize its utility. Get it done. And then as yeah. soon as we're done, we'll come right back and then we'll finish this game. It's going to be a real hoot. Uh, thanks so much for coming. Don't go anywhere. Hello. Uh, I'm Jeffrey K. Horkims. And this is Tessie Teams. Now, uh, when last we saw our heroes, um, the vile... Um, Blaggard, ne'er do well, um, uncool person, quiver, um, had very, very, very recently been decapitated by Sorsha. Uh, Princess Ascala, you might recall her. Uh, that is really the last thing that happened. Uh, time will resume now. <laughs> Welcome um, back. Walnut is going to lean in and to the hut and ask the midwife. Um, May I have two minutes to fix something? In here? No, at the mayor's house. Hmm. Sure. You could, we need a mayor now. Maybe you could run. <laughs> well, it's like, we'll talk about that later. <laughs> um, and she's going to sprint over to the, <clears throat> the mayor's hut. And the midwife is, you see that the midwife is actually going out. Mm-hmm. And... Uh, she has collected a few strands of the hair 
uh, from Quiver's head and oh, taken it and stored it and brought it away. Huh. She has gathered some of the she gathered some of the um, the blood from the neck and put that away. Like this, she, this is a this is a a moment for her. Who knows? Maybe she gets excited about this sort of thing. <laughs> She's gonna do some dark stuff. <laughs> yeah. Like, we're like standing in the town circle and you like run out of one building and then run over to the other building. Yeah. <laughs> like, hey, Walnut. <laughs> oh yeah, so on my way through, um, I'll say, uh, I'll say, um, team meeting at the mayor's house. <laughs> Be like, yeah, get Rosie out here. I want her to see all this cool stuff I did. <laughs> uh, I'll say, uh, grandmother and the town are stricken ill. And then I go, no time to talk. And then run into the mayor's hut. Absolutely. Yeah, and then <laughs> throws open the door. Yeah. Her eyes are darting. She's looking for the bird. She's the bird. She goes, aha, yes, you. But she doesn't have any more. Um, she doesn't have any more to speak with animals. Speak with animals. Um, and so the, the, the pigeon or the, is, is cooing um, like demonstratively. Like it's, it's ready to carry on the previous conversation. Oh. So Walnut well, will um, take some seed from her pocket and sew it in the, in the in the bird's cage. And oh yeah, then, dude, uh, it's it it become it very quickly, like within a moment, becomes Peckfest 2018. So Ooh. I'll take that time to very gently and carefully take the old missive out. Um and she starts to pen a new one on the stationery. Tell me more. No names. What does it say? It says they will not fortify against the hills. You must attack from the high ground. Um which is so far, I mean, that's it. That's all. Yeah, yeah. You've been stuck from the high ground. Blank. And her reasoning is because this is the area that they've chosen to fortify. Yeah, exactly. And it's, now they can. You, you have the wall, and then you have a trench in exactly. the wall. And yeah. now um, <coughs> they can hopefully, instead of saying, don't come at all, because we don't think that that so will I just happen. think it's a helpful note. Yeah, yeah. We, can, <laughs> we can maybe direct them. Um, so she'll uh, will that up and put it in the... The pigeon's leg, and then she's looking around to see if the where where the guys are. Uh, what are you guys doing? So you so you have resolved the issue uh, of the missive attached to the uh, bird. Okay, the bird, yes, marvelous. Uh, you would you get there first, uh, and if this is acceptable, when I enter, uh, I'm I'm saying like. What's wrong with Rosie? Why is she sick? And I'm and I'm my hands are bloody and I'm putting uh, a, a stopper on a vial that is full of blood. Also, <laughs> I took a pit stop at the mayor's corpse just for a, just for a, just a little quick sh- just for a moment to get some of that <laughs> sweet blood. I was wondering how to do that, but then when the midwife did it, I felt like, oh, okay. Well, because I'll take this, one. This Maybe it's cool. Grab a it's, like, it's like a <laughs> drinking fountain. Yeah, it's, it's gotta public. Use all parts of the mayor. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. You, you don't want a situation where it's like no. partial mayor usage. Oh no, no it's no, not no, done. No, no. It's not not in the fire houses. Waste no. not. No, no. Not an organic one. No. Um, so when you two show up, I'm slightly out of breath. I go. Grandmother fell ill. Some sort of sickness and i assume it's from the poisoned fish Hmm. but half the town is ill and we have to stand over this cauldron for 10 hours the midwife and i to concoct this cure and then i say i tell them what i wrote in the missive and i say we need to fortify and defend that specific area Let's see. I think how long have we been out? I think I would have to reinstantiate. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it is definitely time for rest. Yeah, yeah. Um, you need to. You need I'll to go back rest. To the midwife. Yeah, you, you. You go back to the midwife's, uh, and she is. She has got a massive paddle, something that might have been like an oar or something. It's a Bruin. Far inland, like far away from its. Yeah, uh, natural home, uh, and she is she like 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 twelve big stirs, and then she lets it spin, and then like she it's, it's this whole ritual here that mm. is uh, that is involved in it. But you think you can tell that she's flagging a bit. Okay, um, so I'll come in and reliever and 
uh, take over. <clears throat> Absolutely. So she um, she has a, a a little journal, and she flips it over, and she's like, "I don't I don't need to look at it anymore." But um, it sort of goes over the steps okay. uh, that are required in this specific sequence. Um, it would be worth reading over them in detail. Okay. Um, and I would say that this exists in a documentary continuum. Okay, great. Because it's about detailed value. So I would like you to make a check. Okay. Mm. What check? Documentary is a wisdom skill. Got it. Well, lucky for me. Uh, I'm going to take advantage on this. <laughs> on Rosie's life. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, an 18. It's almost. No. Uh, 18 plus 4, 22. Perfect. So you assess it. It seems it's, it's, it's like a negative space thing. Like the pauses are just as important as the stirs. Exactly. Um, so you you set it up, and so in your in your mind you sort of make a cadence. Like you see her last one, and then you step in for her. Yeah. Um, so what what do you what is your interaction with her as you? Oh, I'm just uh, watching a master at work, like just in quiet reverence. Okay. So she she. Uh, Something about her, she has no, uh, her midwife's hut has no bed. Interesting. It has a central, like, log pole in the center of it. Mm -hmm. uh, and then she just has, like, a chair. Okay. She has, like, a, just a gently rocking chair that yeah. she sits in, and her eyes, can, uh, her eyes close, and then occasionally she'll say things like, stir, stop. Mm -hmm. And as, as soon as you are going to do it, like she has the cadence going, like right behind you. Love it. So you're always doing it at exactly the right time. Um, uh, yeah. What's next? So is it time to time to get some rest? Uh, yeah. Before I, hmm, am I concerned that uh, talking to you would would interrupt the? Well, that's the thing. Like Dinar would want to. Help a sick friend and being, you know, somewhat good and something of a healer would want to go help, but then, like, just being like a halting oaf would be in the way. <laughs> I feel like would be dismissed out of hand pretty quickly. You'd be like, you're more helpful outside of the room. I do need four hours rest, otherwise, I won't have anything tomorrow. Hmm, you yeah. gotta get it. Well, I'm saying this over the thing. Right. <laughs> I'm assuming you've come to the hut now and you're like, at am, least yeah. looking at Rosie if she's sick. Yeah, um, yeah. Maybe I'm I'm attempting to to contact her via awakened mind, and not, that's sad. And not getting anything back. Get a dial. Tone. I just want to see how deep it is. How yeah, how yeah. far in it is. Uh, um, yeah, I'm gonna. When will this be done? Will it take longer? Such that would I be able to take over? I don't think I that's a good. Idea. I don't know that she would. According to the directions, we would have. Hours left, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. But it, it, before noon, this process will be complete. Okay. A lot of this had to be started in the middle of the night. Mm -hmm. And I take it that it seems like a little uh, work that's beyond the the um, the knowing, like the understanding of someone like uh, uh, or an unseen servant couldn't take over for this, even though mechanically it could perform the task. It doesn't know what to look for and things like that. It, it wouldn't know how to troubleshoot, mm -hmm. but it would be able to do. It would be able to perform all the basic parts of the task. Yeah, but that would also be a lot of a lot of effort gone to waste if there wasn't a, somebody to direct it. Um, well, couldn't the midwife direct it and the unseen servant just do would it? Would just pay attention to what she said. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. That, and I think that, that would also sense. be really funny. <laughs> Yeah. Yes. Okay. Let's yeah. Let's do a, um, a Fantasia thing here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just about to say it's Fantasia. <laughs> exactly. Uh, I can hear the soundtrack. Yeah. Let me. I'm gonna take Scoop, ten, ten minutes. Boop. Scoop boop. Oh. <laughs> Different song. Gonna, these bars. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna instantiate <laughs> a uh, uh, an unseen servant and say you you uh, listen to these instructions. You're either a stirred weight. Maybe you can fill it in. Yeah, I know. My dear velvet. So, so no velvet cloth on him, though, because I don't want any of that to get on it. Right. So he can do the work. He can do the work nude. <laughs> He's used to it. So I'm just like looking for where he is. Yeah, yeah, where he is. And then giving him the 
the paddle and being like, okay. And uh, Wiffman is now leaning, like there's no more rocking. She's now like leaning forward on the chair. And she, she's like, I don't, who is this creature? Unknown. <laughs> <laughs> but it does do what you say <laughs> within a reason. Will it do what I say? I can direct it to. How long it will work. can he stay with us? It will work for an hour and we'll have to be re-instantiated, which I could do. I then you could thing. then you could sleep and then I'll take the other. Yeah. Yeah. We'll do that. All right. She <clears throat> she gets a uh a, like a old lived in warm knit shawl and places it around his shoulder equivalents so that it is sort of swaying uh, like a like a pendulum in a grandfather clock yeah uh, while it is engaged in this um, and she is and that that is like the piece that she needed to humanize it and now it's like a now it's like a little nephew is over. She's giving it instructions, but there's way too much extra information, right? It's like oh, it's that's it. Specific. Very good. Yeah. Oh, then, <laughs> right. That's very good. Yeah. She's she is she is definitely um, she's not thinking about the time in an hour, an hour hence where it will be obliterated and cease to be. Yeah. And and Kathris will would tell her, but something holds him back. <laughs> to, to she needs it. More than well, obviously more than all it does. Yeah, so she is. She is. She something. has found another shawl, and she has put that on on herself. So they're quite the pair swaying in front of this cauldron now. So you're gonna grab some rest. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I need all my spells back. <laughs> yeah, my shapes. Get your, get your shapes back. Mm -hmm. But then, as soon as I'm done with my four hours, I'll take back over. Nice. Yeah, you, you'll you'll be you'll be catching just the very end of it. Okay. By that time, uh, and take all the credit. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> but it's but uh, uh, so so we're we're now we're now moving into an early morning phase, and of course, Krenar, uh had no uh, her sleep was not disturbed in the least. Mm -hmm. uh, mm. She began with a magically assisted sleep, um, and then just parlayed that into uh, a, a solid eight. Mm, nice. Imagine Dinar, did you like sleep in the midwife's hut, like on a bunch of like animal skins, like all curled up in the corner? Or did you go to the bunkhouse? I think Dinar would just be like in the way. I imagine Dinar in the midwife house, like well, we were... wanting to help, good intentions, <coughs> but like tail knocking shit over. Oh, yeah. too Definitely. big for the space. Oh no, it's not like him, him, with the swords and the tail. Yeah, I think that's the whole place. Just this smacking stuff over. <laughs> it's and being... the full volume of the hut. Being told he has to leave. Be like, you did a good job, bud. Why don't you go get some sleep? You did great. And then just shown the door. <laughs> That's really good. Yeah. Exactly. So um, uh, you can see uh, uh, near the hut in a like a grassy patch, uh, you can see Krenar playing with a small uh, figurine of a, a creature you may have seen. They're not. They're not incredibly uncommon, but it would a be dog? the yes. That's it. Oh. Uh, cat. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. It is. Um, it has a strange, uh, almost like a plated, like a, a firm plate over the top of its head, uh, and then the rest of it underneath. It's, it almost looks like a short, squat uh, crocodile, mm -hmm. um, but its maw is just massive um, and it has uh, incredibly sharp claws that they use to uh, dig and burrow oh um, but it's a like I say it's a it's a it's not an uncommon uh, monster mm -hmm. but it's definitely not something one sees in the in the city hmm, um, and she has a, a little figurine it's about the size of a grapefruit mm -hmm. um, and she is playing a, a bunch of games with this figurine that only she seems to know. She's like playing hide and seek with a physical, with an inanimate object, basically. Uh, so, and this is like in the middle of the town square. No, it's in the morning. It's just it's it's near the midwife's hut. Oh, okay, all right. 
So I, I wake up out of the bunkhouse and I come out and I see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With my hot bean water. Yeah. They have it's, it. Pfft. It's ready. It's yeah. squeezed. Yeah, I mean... It's what's, closing. What's the, uh, what's the, what's the write-up on this thing? What's, are they understood to be dangerous? Uh, this, is, it's, this is a figurine. Oh, oh, oh. I misunderstood. Fear not. I was like, oh. But they are real she's creatures. playing with this creature in the f- town? Yeah. Okay. Fuck this. Oh, no, yeah. no, no. This is a, a, a small figurine. Gotcha. And it said about the size of a oh, grapefruit. Yeah. Leaf. I'll go over there. Play with her. Yeah. Say what you got there. <clears throat> and she says, friend. And then she holds it up. And uh, from the ground, it's just, wah, <laughs> jumps right up on the leg. And then just like, it begins its assault. Like huh. this creature, like and there's there can be no defense against it. Every every defense you every defense you try to put up, it's always ready to come around yeah. the edge. It's going for the most tender regions. Mm-hmm. The armpit obviously is a favorite. Yeah, I would. I'll play along. I go ah no ah <laughs> roll over on my back and just ah ah god ah the humanity. <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah, I do that. Perfect. What does she do? That's More? how it should be. Oh, yeah. it's it's a plus. She she don't is, get tired of it. She yeah. is. She, you think, I know they don't get tired of it. No, no, and it no. Just goes and it's, it goes, and then I guess to break like free <laughs> because I can see this will go on for hours. I will say, you think that's a good toy? I got an even better toy, and I kind of. <laughs> Take that away. I'm like we're done. We're done with this one now. <laughs> She's like, and they go, eh? yeah. And then I'll give her the the shadow Rubik's cube. Oh boy, of which you have three. Do you yes. give her all three, or do you give her one? I just give her one. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. That should be enough for her. Only needs one. Spoiler. Exactly. Yeah. Rubik's cubes does a kid need? Exactly. Well, if, if I want her to be smart, three, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Screw the brain. <clears throat> yeah, that's what it is. It, that's that's it's additive. It's completely additive. We just yeah. got to bring one to water deep. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. You, and then I'll sell the other. I don't yeah, know. Exactly. Or eat it or something. Whatever you want to do with it. Um, she she takes it and then just sits down, but like in one movement, just like uh, right on the uh, uh, right on the ground, um, and then begins to contend yeah. with this object. So we went from it's like giving a kid a, a like a like a, a Nintendo iPhone. Switch or a Game yeah, Boy, yeah, yeah. So we go from yeah. like these loving, playful wrestling interactions to now she's like absorbed in this thing, and I just stand up like super self satisfied, like Dad of the Year, <laughs> <laughs> I did it again. <laughs> now that's parenting. You Some heard off. <laughs> bean juice. Yeah, um, yeah. She is. Uh, it looks sort of featureless in its current state, but as she is uh, as she is interacting with it, uh, different parts of it are sliding out partially from different sides, and it's not hundred percent clear to you how it's functioning. But she is deeply, deeply focused on this hmm. this object, and uh, and you can tell she seems to be gaining sophistication with it. Um, in that, in, in the manner of a child in a uh, endless runner I, uh, style game, and then I see her doing that, and then I get a little jealous, and then I'm like, oh wait, I want to connect. So then I sit down next to her and I get one out, <laughs> and I start doing it too. <laughs> and I'm like, how are we doing this as a bonding exercise? Absolutely. Do you want to try to? Yeah, I'll mess with. I'll take one out and mess yeah. with it too. Is it, is it, is I'll play be, my Game Boy it's, next it's, to her it's, while it's she gonna, plays. Yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be a, a competitive aspect. Yeah. Um, so what you want to do with this is you want to roll a wisdom check with your plus, and then you want to roll an intelligence check. With <laughs> yeah. Your plus. Crap. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, Enjoy. All right. Uh, so just this plus my wisdom. Mm-hmm. All right. That's then, the first one. Okay. Well, my wisdom is zero. Six. Okay. <laughs> Mm-hmm. And then am give I... The, give me the end check. Also zero. One. <laughs> <laughs> on so this Six is, and one. This is the most mind. authentic parenting experience you can possibly yep. have in Dungeons & Dragons. <laughs> so you so you got it. You're like, well, this is a fucking baby. Like, yeah. I, I should be able to work with this shadow sphere. And so you sit down. You got it out. You're like, all right. Um, 
that hers is like hers has now come apart into two pieces and she's found a way to fit it back together again except now it's a square <laughs> and yours is still exactly the same orb the man gave you uh in ringler nora yeah um it's possible that this one is is um defective in some way that's that's yeah. that's one option only explanation well I, 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 <laughs> yeah. this, these orbs have seen a lot of rough travel and you know, I mean, they don't they have an expiration date? Like, there's a lot we don't know about these orbs that would explain your inefficacy. That's what I yell <laughs> while I'm doing it. No one's watching or cares. And I'm just like, this is broken. <laughs> is this one? This one's broken. <laughs> I'm not dumb. <laughs> I'm not dumb. This is broken. I'm smart. <laughs> not dumb like everyone says. Yeah, Godfather. Um, so, so while she is taking it part in different pieces, and then she looks over at you, and then she holds her, her little paw out and uh, outstretches her fingers like this, and she says, Friend, friend. And she wants a little toy back. Man, she's, this kid's spoiled. Uh, yeah, I'll give her a thing back. Okay. <clears throat> uh, she puts it, she sets it down in front of her, and then strokes its nose, and it immediately expands into... Uh, the creature this figurine is based on. Like the real creature now? Exactly. And it just, it just lays down in front of her while she is playing with this. That's weird. She's kind of like a favorite uncle. <laughs> yeah. Where did she get this? Jeez. <laughs> she likes the Game Boy better though. <laughs> Worth <laughs> noting. <laughs> yeah, yeah it, it is so normal Yeah. that she is she is not paying attention to this monster in any way. Mm. She is completely focused on uh, this little shadow object. And so the, the creature is, uh, just like I say, just paws down, stretched out, and it's not getting any love over here. And then it just puts its head like over in front of you, and, and its tongue sort of lolls out a little bit. I, I don't know. I would be taken aback by all this, but I guess... Reading the scenario, yeah, reading the Dinara social, would play the along. Social, yeah. The social cues. The, yeah, the social contract dictates not to kill this thing. I guess <laughs> in front of her, well. it's just like knife hovering, like, <laughs> and then he would pet him, the thing, and then just be like, "Does he have a name?" Oh, yeah. <clears throat> she she says, "Friend." Friend. Yeah, and it's just, it's just, it comes out, and this tongue is, it is very, very large, and it is very, very wet. Ugh. And there's a lot of it, and it keeps coming out like an anteater's tongue. Do I, do I know what this... Until you have a lap full of this tongue. Do I know what this creature is called? Or... They're called bullets. Bullets? Okay. But I've seen them before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're not. They're, yep, you, yep, yep. They're, you wouldn't. They're not uncommon. But again, they're not like. So when I they, they would not be an urban creature outside of Janar or Scala. Well, when I see Sorsha and I say, "What's the deal with the bullet?" <laughs> you just want to know. I want to know what it's called, and I'm like, "What is this, what is that about?" <laughs> Need to have a discussion. Well, yeah, it, it's it's a family discussion about our daughter. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, absolutely. So you you are engaging in. Uh, Friendly, optimal parenting uh, scenarios. Yep. Kathris, how are you spending this time? Um, Once you emerge from your uh, trance. Yeah, let's see. So we've. So I took. I stayed awake. You slept. And our. Um, and then you trance, and I took back over. Right, right, right. Um, during the trance, I would be um, thinking about the. Uh, I feel like I feel different about these this, these people in this town. Really? Like the fact, well, the fact that I would uh, not immediately just detonate all the fish out of the water if that's what they needed. Like I'm giving that there's, there's deference. Like let them fish. Don't correct the midwife as far as uh, uh, velvet being a, a worthless organism from who knows where. It does your the bidding. Void. That's the only value that it has. And I'm thinking about the people who have, who have set this town up and in an attempt to start 
something new and how they deserve that chance. And I'm hearing the words and it doesn't, it doesn't sit right. It doesn't feel right. I'm, we're here to, because it's a job, but they, they, sh they need to have an opportunity for justice. And if I run across a uh, walnut, I think it would start with like, I, this is the scene, this is the scene. So maybe we have our, our, our bean water and. Okay, I just wanna set up what she looks like when you see her. Oh, sure, sure. So in the night, while she was the only one working on the thing, her thoughts turned to Brahma and mm -hmm. she spent a considerable amount of time weeping, not into it, very carefully not into oh, it. Yeah. Oh, but like, see that's the sad part. Grandmother's sick and Brahma's dead. Mm -hmm. And so she just spent the entire night crying. So when you see her, her eyes are like completely puffed up and she's like, but you know, but what's you know, up? You know what? There would be like, there would be those tracks. Oh yeah. Through the, the dirt tracks. Yeah, yes, the, the yeah. clean tracks. So it's the opposite. It's the complete opposite of mascara running. Yeah, it's inverse. <laughs> it's the inverse. <laughs> um, yeah, she's, and she goes, morning. What's up? What's up? <laughs> Uh, it's a, a beautiful day. <laughs> and I, I look at you funny. <laughs> you, both, you both make a face when he says that. <laughs> oh, God, I have seen a star. Mm. I've seen a star. <laughs> this, how, how do you, how are you? Um, maybe like, doesn't know where to put his hands. But it's like, when you say that to me, um, when you say that to me, it's like, it echoes in my head. It's like, it's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day. And I go, it's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day. It is. Huh. And I like kind of sit in it for a second. I'm like, yeah. Maybe everything's going to be okay. This, this town is... Uh... They needed our help, but they, they deserve a chance to prove themselves. They deserve a chance to, to be more than what they are now. And I can't think of anything more enriching and exciting than that. What's wrong with me? What's going on? Maliki, what is this? <laughs> uh, I don't. I'm not, I'm not hot. I'm the same temperature I usually am. Grave cold. I, did something happen to you last night? A lot of the same sorts of thoughts. <laughs> very, very cheerful. Distressingly cheerful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One was like, um, well, it's like, you know, now that you mention it, and then she feels like something weird, and she just like shrugs it off. And she goes, no, no, no. Uh, what, what's going on with you? What's all this? And she just motions to you. Uh, I, same old, same old. Uh, mm. <laughs> just trying to play it off. She goes, well, maybe keep an eye on it. Oh, absolutely. Uh, and I, I realize that I'm standing up straighter than I usually do, and I do Hunch adjust back over. it. <laughs> I catch myself leaving the hut as I go to produce some more unseen servants to help other people. Mm -hmm. uh, catch myself humming. Hey, well, here's and that. It and it stops in like, my throat. Mm -mm. And I turn to see if you saw it. Yeah, and I'm shaking my head like, <laughs> no, not this. No, 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 no. <laughs> That's, yeah. And I avoid... Uh, uh, the noise. Uh, avoid the noise at all costs. He's going to wreck my <laughs> meal. Uh, no, I avoid uh, Dinar and Kranar who seem to be having a sort of a heartwarming uh, moment, and I don't know if I can take any more. <laughs> I'm worried I'm going to start smiling. You, yeah, you <laughs> give a wide berth. I just huh? yell as you just walk away, just arc. like, and I'm like, this <laughs> is broken. It's not me. <laughs> mm hmm. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> so, uh, as you're shouting at Kathristrow, uh, 
um, you can see uh, in the morning sun, you can see a shadow uh, behind you sort of creep up behind you and uh, Krenar. I will then turn it around. It's the devil. Uh, he's again, you he, again. He, he's real in Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> he's real in Dungeons and Dragons. He's in every game. Think about That's it. How he recruits you. This is an incredible he brand. You to play Dungeons and Dragons. I've seen the um, I've seen the videos. Turmoil in the Toy Box. Uh, it's a great book. Uh, all toys are bad. So uh, you see, uh, there's a, a rattle of uh, armor as Sorsha sits down uh, on the other side of Krenar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she's just, and she's she's looking at the shadow ball. Yeah. And she's like And I look at the, the bullet and go <laughs> make a face right back. <laughs> she reaches she t- she talks to Kanar and she says, put him away. And uh Kranar reaches over and pets his nose uh in the same way that she pet the figurine's nose. And then uh he just shrinks right back up to that point in the nose. Mm. Um, and then now that he's smaller, Krenar picks him up and puts him on her lap while she continues to play with this object. Does it move when oh, it's in figurine? toy form? No. no, okay. No, no, it's just like a, it's like it's like a, a ceramic or porcelain, yeah, yeah, marble okay. figurine, yeah. It's something you would collect. Yeah. It's like a little amiibo. Yes, exactly. <laughs> it's RFID. <clears throat> um, and she says, do you not like the sword? It's a lovely sword. He says, I, I know the artisans myself. Like I, I assure you this, I assure you this weapon will serve you. I have been practicing with it every night. Have you actually? I killed a bog witch with it or whatever. <laughs> you in there, yeah. No. <laughs> have you, have you, <laughs> did, did, these things that can actually be easily determined in this system. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> um, it's actually very, very easy. I uh, go, I'm good at lying. Yeah, yeah. So you do performance. All right, let's see it. I'm performing to, and I'll to do see insight. It. All right, yeah, to lie to someone. Yes. Okay, that's how it works. All right, <laughs> in front of your child. In front yeah. of my child. I'm like, no, I love the sword. I killed something with it last night because I love it so much. Great sword. Nineteen. Oh my god, dude, that's hella plus five. three. That's hellified. She All believes right. me. Wait, wait, wait. Listen, we'll no, see. No, she, really, she, can, <laughs> she can respond with insight. Do All it. right. So, yeah, plus, so plus three, so 22. Yep. Okay, so, you know, let's give her advantage. <laughs> True. Sure. Oh, God. Those are, those are very low. Those are very <laughs> Got low. her. <clears throat> so, so, she, so she looks back at the sword and she says, Really? Oh, yeah. Uh, and you found you found success in the engagement. Yeah, that's a good sword. Thank you again. But why are you wearing it as the second sword? Why did it's a place of honor? <laughs> I said thank you. What more do you want from me? <laughs> Starts getting mad and defensive. What's the deal with the little monster figurine? What do you want to know? Where did it come from? It's very odd. Scala, it's not odd. I've never seen it before. That is not the definition of odd. It is I to me. There are many things you haven't seen. And they're all odd. <laughs> Everything I don't know is odd and dumb. <laughs> it's a very narrow window. Yeah, it's a bit, yeah. very, the, the walls come up. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> uh, she says uh, it's not uncommon for uh, for children. Uh, in the hierarchy of Scala to have pets such as this. This is, are, this is not is this not common in Janar? No. Is it dangerous? What to foes? Right. Okay. To foes. It 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 has no it cannot harm Krenar. Okay. It doesn't know how. It's three laws safe. Dinar is then, yeah, placated a bit. Yes. <laughs> he's weirded out by it. And he's Irrationally overprotective, maybe. Absolutely. Well, she 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 asks. Uh, there's a, a a pause after that, and she says, "Is it true what they say about Janar? Uh, that there is oh, oh. 
a. What did you think I was going to say? Nothing. We know. We, we know <laughs> we'll about. Get to it on we know about his race. We'll um, we, we know tabletop. there's something there. No, she says that there is a a great dragon that lives in the mountain above it. Yes, it is. It is very true. Being of the royal family, have you seen it? Only or the royal family him, sees it. Her? Yes, yes. Vars Malus, blessed be his name. She says, well, how often does he receive it? Do you consult him? She gets too excited. Yeah. <laughs> but you haven't seen this before. Uh, um, and you know that you know that Janar has a reputation of being somewhat mysterious, and it's a reputation that Janari uh, maintain actively. Yeah, um, and Dinar would get uh, def- deflective a little bit. I mean, an- well, he, he would he, answer he, he questions, should. yes, should. but I mean, they're also like. <clears throat> Irregardless of their relationship. It's like state secrets. Regardless of their relationship. Yeah. Um, yeah. State secrets and things of that nature. So he would he would be curt in his answers. So he would... He's like, yeah. Yes. She says, so when, when can he be consulted? That's something I'm trying to figure out. You don't know? I... Is, is that not the... Pr- is that not the purview of your high houses? It's our only purview. <laughs> so is this information a secret even from you? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Let's, we'll go with that. <laughs> Let's try another performance check. <laughs> yes. This is what it's like if you're talking to a person who's really smart. Uh, I'm taking advantage <laughs> to protect my, my secret backstory. Oh no! Eight, eight. Eight. Twenty. Oh, ah, womp, she believes everything, womp, and she leaves womp, me alone. Womp, <laughs> she thinks you're the dragon. Wow! Shadow Council merely was pleased you have another twenty fucking dollars. All right, that was like five from you today. That's three, dude. Oh. It's crazy. There was one That's from, right, one from him. It's all of it. Oh, yeah, you're giving away fifth. all of our shit. I know. Please, I'm rolling well. No, it's very, very good. <clears throat> and she says. It is said, it's before my time, but it is said that the the monks once tended a dragon in our mountain as well. And eventually, it's not clear, it's not known by us, but eventually the monks took over the religious stewardship of the town. And you can see the result. They may have needed a dragon's wisdom. Is the dragon to manage longer, that town? Is the dragon not? Do you not have a dragon? No. <laughs> oh, no, no. <laughs> she, she, she's and it's it, 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 there's a, the pause and then the no has weight. Yeah. Uh, she says, Scala is in terrible need. No. The people of Scala, mm-hmm. they need a place to, they need a place to run to. Do you think that Janar could keep them? I am not the person to ask. <laughs> Just because you're not a, you're not a Janari prince? I am a Janari prince. Uh, I don't have that authority. <laughs> well, you don't have that authority, but you, but you must know who to speak to. Your mother, perhaps. Yeah, that would be a good place to start. <laughs> She's like, when we have, when we have resolved, promise. Yeah. Let us discuss this again. We can. We can see. (laughs) Knowing what I know about uh, my family uh, and what they think of outsiders, dragonborn or not, I don't think the odds are good. She nods and she says, we'll find a way. 
I mean, we <laughs> we saw it firsthand in in Scala. Like, they, you guys weren't exactly happy to see us, me, when we were there. It's going to be just like that. I understand. Even even though the the need is great, the need cannot ameliorate this. It's it, there's a, there's a lot of things going on outside of Jinnar, you know. Can't help everyone. That's our town motto. <laughs> Can't help everyone. <laughs> it's right over the gate. Yeah. Let's, let's go inside. Right over the closed no. gate. <laughs> it says can't help everyone right on the gate. Right. <laughs> right. And she she allows herself a few more uh, a few more moments. Mm -hmm. She gives Krenar uh, a health inducing scritch and says we have two more days to prepare. You have two more days? Oh, I only have one. <laughs> yeah, the one. Then you had you had adventure all night. Yeah, that's true. <clears throat> and she, she says, she says, I think that I can get more weapons from uh, their scouting parties. Yeah, where did you get those weapons? Oh, occasionally they are foolish enough to send. People in groups less than six. <laughs> you just robbed a bunch of people for these weapons? Robbing a robber. Is there a word oh, for that? Oh, this guy, you took it from them. All right. I thought you were just saying like traveling parties. <laughs> I'm like, well, I mean, no, you she's, know. No, she's, she is mad <laughs> at the fucking suggestion. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Uh, and so she she uh, gets up and uh, applies a little bit of affection even to the figurine, hmm. and uh, walks back in to the to the center part of the town. Uh, the The fluid inside the cauldron walnut has thickened considerably. Great. This there has been a, a state change of some kind inside this. Uh, cauldron, and you think that you think that it's it's it's, it's going to be ready, ready soon. soon. Okay, um, so I've called the midwife over to yeah. give it a second glance. Absolutely. So whenever whenever the the unseen servant, like whenever the uh, shawl hits the ground, she gasps, <laughs> yeah. and then she goes and and picks up the she goes and picks it up, and then at the door she just says, "Drow." Okay. I'll come. I'll come running back in. She holds the she holds the shawl up like this, and then when you've instantiated it, she places it down on the creature. Oh yeah, I would have been I've, since it takes me ten minutes to to ritually summon. I've been doing a ten minute overlap, so there's one in the wings. So I do you got have, one. You got one cooking. I have one with me. Yeah. No, it's like you just trade them out. Yeah, it's really a matter of putting the shawl on the visible on the one that's. Not about to disintegrate. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Now, uh, how do we want to? How do we want to invest the day's uh, energies, C team? Uh, obviously, the 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 main thing that hasn't been explored yet here is the mine itself. We do need to check out the mine. That's um, one option. Also, it's become quite apparent, perhaps. That uh, the food stores are not a hundred percent the best. I want to investigate that. One, do we give a dose of this cure to Rosie, or is the midwife going to take care of that? It's, it's, it's very, it's very, very close. Like now okay, that it's okay. thickened, so she'll take care of it. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Well, she'll she'll give you <clears throat> she'll give you a stopper. Um, she'll give you a vial stopper. It should be ready in about ten minutes. I was going to say, okay, it's okay. about a ten minutes, <laughs> ten minute application. Yeah. <laughs> so I want to um, get the boys together. Rub it deep into the scalp. Yeah. And uh, I'll be like, um, Denark, Thriss, team meeting. And look at Sorcerer and say, gotta go! In the middle of her <laughs> probing conversation. <laughs> Whoa, oh, it's coming! <laughs> I gotta go. Yeah. Um, and once, once you come over, I say, um, okay. So, while grandmother is incapacitated, we still need to help this town. Um, we currently have 
no food again because it's all been poisoned and that needs to be destroyed. Uh, Weaponized. And, yes. Well, now mm. that's interesting. That is, I, I'm sorry, I'm the dungeon master. I'm supposed to observe dispassionately. I think that's, that is not on these sheets. <laughs> I'm looking over at Eric Benson. Judges, we'll allow it. <laughs> um, so uh, I look at Denar and I go, now that's interesting. <laughs> Do we think that we could get any of this into the hands of the bandits? We could. There's a few ways to use there's poison. A f- there's a few things we can do with poison. <laughs> Just <you> yeah. speak. <laughs> uh, I mean, well, let's we can let's table talk our way through these plans. We've got. Oh no, I want to s- talk to Dinar. Someone, all right, <laughs> from the mouth of babes. Uh, we can send um, our. Uh, we can dress up our uh, boy toy here as a spy, as one of the yes. bandits. And send him with a gift of poison fish with a shipment. Yeah, yeah. That we I could send a fresh caught. We could send a missive, uh, telling them that there are supplies coming, and send them like like via bird. Yeah, soften the blow. Be like, hey, we're sending. I'm, I'm sending you some supplies to help you strengthen up before the attack. Yeah, and we can just put it on a cart and send it somewhere. We need to know where they are. We can get to figure that out from the bird, though. Right? We can just tell them where it is. Yeah. Oh yeah, we can meet them. There. That makes sense. Or not even. Just leave yeah, it and have just be a like, hey, job. Over on the, you know, whatever hill, there's a pile of fish I left for you. Yeah. It's totally fish. not poisoned. It's Wink, on fish hill. Winky face. That's enticing. Eggplant <laughs> emoji. Um, huh. uh, and then coming from the bird, they would have less reason to. I mean, the, those are two ways to get them to believe it we and get them to eat it. We should Spy at least bird. try it. Yeah. Yeah. We or we weaponize it, make it into a bomb, just throw it at them. <laughs> Just how potent is this poison? A fish bomb. Exactly right. Um, can it be aerosolized? Is what you're saying? <laughs> yeah. Well, the midwife said that it was. Um, it was like coming from their gut. Like it was like an. It happened once they ate it. Yeah. Yeah. So unless you can throw it into, into their, their mouth. mouth, this is like oh, launching no. diseased bodies. Like when you're sieging a, a castle in the middle of medieval yeah. times. No, it's true. Hey, so uh, we will plan the rest of that. Uh, when our beloved grandmother returns. Okay. Um, for now, Josh, if you could please tip my cauldron. Whoa! Now. More fish are ruined. Oh, jeez. Everyone's <laughs> dead. All the corn is poisoned. Yeah. Uh, other cereal grains. Oh, it's, a whole, it's a real shit show. <laughs> all, uh, all the basic oh, food no. groups. <laughs> Paul Newman's gonna have my legs Even broke. the quinoa. Um, <clears throat> Not the quinoa. No, so. What of the farm? Uh, you are looking inside the merry, inviting front window of a small but increasingly well-known uh, inn called the Drawn and Courtier. Um, you can see this is the scene. a young woman mm-hmm. with uh, tight, curly, blonde hair um, smiling at a young man who uh, smiles back and scoots away from the table. Um, and as he does so, uh, you can see that the proprietress uh, gives him a glance that suggests that if he never came back, that would be acceptable. Um, he leaves the drawing courtier um, and finds his way down an alley along the left side of the building. And there he climbs a trellis. Uh, upon which young hop shoots have begun to grow. Uh, And when he makes his way to the roof, uh, there is another person already there. Um, And she asks him, what have you discovered? And he says, Commander, the the team you you are seeking is not in is not in Red Larch currently. They have accepted a job with Acquisitions Incorporated and they are far away. <clears throat> and she says, excellent. Uh, continue to ply your trade uh, with the young woman in the inn uh, and report to me on the regular schedule. And as he climbs down uh, and leaves, the 
uh, the woman retrieves uh, from behind her an instrument. What? Let's see. Does this even <laughs> work? Let's see. Let's see. And I gotta make sure because I'm very nervous because I don't do this type of I, shit all I the time. I to open A for you. Just no. to simplify things. <laughs> <clears throat> um, and she seems to, she sits on the roof and then looks over her shoulder at a very particular window in uh, the drawn and courtier uh, and begins to play. Let's see if I can do this. I'm not completely fuck it up. <clears throat> Let's see. You got it. No, I should be able to do it. If I was bold, I'd have told you it'd never end well. If I was smart, I'd have started with words like hell. If you were here, maybe the fear would subside. If you were here, my darling dear, you'd never get out alive. You and I just seem to rhyme and time has made it more true. Maybe I'm the strong one, huh? I'm the wrong one for you. Let's see. <clears throat> I turned her head, she turned my head, and then I turned another four. Well, I was dead, I can't recall what she said anymore. As for the rest, it was a test, I don't know if I passed. The world's a pyre and you're a fire and we'll meet in the ash. You and I just seem to rhyme and time has made it more true. Maybe I'm the strong one, I'm the wrong one. For you. You'd be surprised if I don't try to ply some clever ruse. Maybe you're the strong one and you just never knew. All right, Josh, thank you. Hey, <laughs> that is this week's episode of The CT. Thanks for rolling through. Uh, we'll be back next week with our friend Kate Welch, a.k.a. Rosie B. Stinger. Uh, don't go nowhere. Come on back for the table talk. We'll see you soon.